Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Welcome to the Alan Paul channel. I am Alan Paul, and uh, this is a continuation of our series in regards to the regular playthrough that I'm doing on my third main save, tertiary main save, as I call it. Um, I'm going to do something a little different in this episode. I'm kind of interrupting the season, as the case may be. Uh, as, you, as you know, season one uh, is coming to a close. Not really coming to a close, but we're going to continue on after we get done with the main base uh, uh quests and stuff like that but uh at the point at which i'm recording this i've already completed all those but you haven't seen those episodes yet but as we pop in here what we're going to do is we're going to do something a little special today um as we're coming to the end of the expedition i'm going to go ahead and do the expedition from this main save uh because i well i kind of want to have all the items that you can get from it without just stealing them off of one of my other saves. I want to actually get them for myself in this save and get all the uh, benefits and stuff. And you'll get to see what it's like to do the Adrift Expedition from one of your main saves. So that's what we're going to do here. So I'm going to interrupt the season, and this episode will come out... Uh, let me see, what day would that be? Hold on, I'm actually going to check a calendar. July 3rd. This will come out on July 3rd. And uh, normally I'd have an episode come out that would be a different episode, but we're going to push that off to the following week. The following week's going to have an episode that's going to come out on, of course, uh, the 10th. And then the following week, we're going to have a double episode. We're going to have one come out on the 17th and again on the 19th to finish out the season so we can get it all done. And then the 24th, we'll start the Adrift version of this. But we're going to go ahead and get this taken care of now. So, we got our Squiddy ship here, um, which probably you haven't even found yet. Yeah, sneak preview there. Sorry about that. Came across this one, and I had the money to buy it, and I was like, oh, I've got to get it. You know I'm going to have to do that. So, let's go ahead and head out. We're going to head up to the Anomaly. The volume in the game is going to be a little bit lower than usual uh, because of the loudness of the planet that we're going to be starting on. So I may just tweak it a little bit. It seems to be in good shape at the moment, but we're going to actually drop it down just a little bit. All right. I've got a glass of water with me. You're going to hear me pause every now and then. Maybe hear, hear a couple gulps or something like that. Got to keep the voice going. All right. So here we go. Now, I do have multiplayer off right now, of course. So that is my strong suggestion, is to have your multiplayer off. Now, one of the benefits of coming here to this terminal and doing the expedition is you can carry things over, but here is the caveat to doing this. There is a bad portion of this. So I can select equipment, and I can drop things in. The problem is, is you can't get that equipment until you get to the anomaly. So anything you think you might need at the very beginning of the mission, like, hey, yeah, I can throw some, some copper in there. We can throw some chromatic metal. Well, guess what? You're going to have all that, or you better have all that, before you even leave the first system to get to the anomaly. So, yeah, yeah, you're not going to want to do that. Um, there's no use in doing it. Uh, the only thing I would recommend if you're going to copy anything over is if you could pull stuff from your ship. Like maybe, uh, let me take a look at my starship here. Uh, let's see. Like this ship has literally nothing on it. It would have to be something over there. Let's, let's go ahead and drop in one of our other ships. Let me see here. Yeah, the swing wing that I've got. Let's pull it in and take a look. So you see that I've got some pulse drive upgrades. And yeah, you know, that's not a bad idea to have your pulse drive upgrades. Um, guns, really not necessary. But you know, if you have a decent like this one, that this uh, 238 light year uh, unit here, very, very good, 221. Those might come in handy later on. So that might be a good idea. Um and you're not going to get the Atlanta, you're going to already have Atlanta DM, and you're going to have Radiant Shards by the time you pull in your Anomaly. So there's no reason to get any of that stuff. Not, none, none whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is, I don't know, I might carry some gold over just a little bit. But the way I do this is I do it in a, in a methodical and efficient manner, so I don't know, I don't know. I haven't decided yet what to do, and I don't have a freighter that anything's stored on yet, so there's no use in going there. I really don't have anything else I can put in there. Uh, let me get rid of these. I'm going to sell these bones. Actually, you know what? Can we? No, we can't sell them here. Uh, we're not in the main station here. All right. Anything we got? Yeah, geology cannon. That's useless to me. 
Um, you know what? These would come in handy, but I'll already have gotten those too. Same thing, you know, with all the rest of this stuff. Batteries, that would be great, but not necessary. Ah, uh, yeah. There's just a, not a lot here that we can really use. Emerald will be great, but we'll already have the activated. Yeah, there's really nothing here that we need. So let's do this fresh and clean, shall we? Let's just go through it. On we go. So we're going to select equipment, it says, and start the expedition. I'm not going to carry anything over. We're not going to worry about that. You can put stuff in there, but again, you're only going to get it when you get to the anomaly. So there's no use in doing so, and you can't pull the anomaly in until after you jump one time. And you will have everything you need by then. So if you do it right, if you do it right. I am not going to do this, and let's go ahead and get it started and get this moving along. We're going to accept it and move on. Um, I'm going to do this in a very you know, straightforward manner. Uh, I'm not going to do like the entire phase one milestones and everything like that. We're going to do all the milestones in a, in a in a different order. And I'll be completing probably about a half a dozen to a dozen milestones just on the first system alone. And they won't be in any order. So let's go. We got our white screen here. There we go. I'm not going to show you a timer. It's not important. And we are going to read everything. Okay. So this is going to not be this is not going to be a speed run. So if any of you are expecting a speed run, it's not going to be, but I'm going to show you how to get this done in such a way that it'll get done. First things first, when you're starting out, make sure you're not in the mountainous terrain. And I'm talking tall, tall mountains where you barely well, you can't even run. You're literally on the side of a hill. This is not it. This is the plains area. You got some hills. You got plenty of stuff nearby. Looks like I've got a sodium patch over there that's really really handy. Um, at the get-go. An oxygen patch would be really something. So certain things you need from the start, if you do it my way, okay, you're going to need, and you can write this down, 235 oxygen or more. You'll need 240 condensed carbon or more, 250 ferrite or more, about 150 to 200, fer uh, uh, I put ferrite plus plus, magnetized ferrite. And then you're probably going to need at least 80 sodium nitrate, maybe, which is 160 sodium. You don't need it right away, but it's a good idea to get some. Um, you're obviously going to need copper, and I used to think I'd need a lot more, but if you have at least about 400 you can get, that would be enough to get you going. And there's a reason for that, and I'll show you that later on. Uh, dihydrogen, you only need 45 of it. You're not going to need much of it at all. Cobalt. Get about 160 or more. 200 would be great. It's just that that's just uh, at that point a uh, a bonus, if you will. Um, and you're going to be making five metal plates and two seals out of these. Not to mention you'll be making some batteries. So you're going to need some of the cobalt for that, as well as some of the ferrite. So that's the reason why we have so much. So let's take a look around. Uh, we got an egg in front of us too, and getting about four or five of them is handy but not needed if you will so i'm going to take a quick look around there's our ship straight in front of us as usual we've got a magnetized ferrite deposit straight ahead and a copper deposit what a great start this is actually really good now i wish it was a speed run i'm going to go ahead and grab this uh the hydrogen real quick and like i said we only need about 45 so we'll count Oh, we already got a crystal fragment. Let's check. Oh, we got a storm crystal out of it. Those are handy. And we got plenty of dihydrogen now. So, that's good. Another thing, if you really want to get this to work a little bit better, go ahead and put your jetpack in certain spots. Same thing with your life support. I always move this over. Multi-tool. Because you pick stuff up, like I have some supercharged slots. I got one here, but this one's, you know, burnt out. I got to fix it. I have no other supercharged slots anywhere except over here. I'm going to put my laser here. And we're going to put the bolt caster module. Uh, let me see. What does that give us? Not really a whole lot. Damage 1362, 1363. See, it really doesn't make a difference. Um, let's put the bolt caster in and really bumps it up, doesn't it? 2126. See, it really doesn't make a whole big lot of difference there. Okay, good. And the terrain manipulator, just leave it right where it is. You don't have to worry about that. Same thing with the analysis visor. I usually just try to get them out of the way. Move them somewhere else. But you're, having your laser in a, in a supercharged slot is very, very handy. Let's grab some sodium. We need that. Like I said, we need about 160, but we may not get all of that here. I don't know how many plants we're going to have. We'll find out in just a second. Oh, we're doing pretty good. And you need all the condensed carbon. You can get your grubby little fingers on. I know I said about 250. You'll need more. Look at that. Look at that. 170 sodium. we got just enough. Exactly what we need. Let's grab the condensed carbon since we're here. 
you're on a low atmo planet so you can really glide good but you want to get as many steps in as you can because that's one of your milestones nine thousand steps accumulative throughout the whole game uh pardon me uh, expedition uh so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna mark this out we got there's magnetized there's magnetized and there's the copper in the distance uh, so we're going to mark out the closest magnetized. We also need, um, besides the eggs, the worms. So we're going to have to take them out. I've got like three eggs really close by. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some. And go back the other way. We'll jetpack a little bit away from them. That's no big deal. Like I said, we're going to get some steps in. I do have to get ferrite, but we'll get it later. Let's grab this egg. That's two. And let's start heading towards the direction of the ship and see what we end up with. Now, there was, uh, there was something there, but I guess we missed it. No big deal. What are you? Nothing. That's what you are. Try to get your steps in. Do a little running because these guys, these buggers are going to catch up to you at some point. So, And I'll grab some of this while we're here. Magnetized, pardon me, the uh, condensed carbon is something you're going to use to refuel your uh, unit here. The, uh, mac the mining beam, can't think anymore. So it's a good idea to make sure you get plenty of that. Looks like the swarm has dissipated here. Alright, so where are we? Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, grab these last couple ones. Let me see what we got. Yep, got plenty of that. And we got some pure ferrite. We could turn that into magnetized, but we'll worry about it later. All right, moving on. We saw some condensed carbon. Do a scan. You need lots of oxygen. Oxygen is hard to come by. Unless you can find yourself a nice oxygen patch if you're fortunate enough. So let's go ahead and get this taken care of real quick here. Again, I'm not running a timer, so you're not going to see anything. I'm going to grab the oxygen that's over here, because we do need it. That's one over here. We'll grab it first. <clears throat> oh, good. And we got one of those... Uh... Hold on. I know the name. Called Titan Wormborough, right there. So we're going to hit that up. Oh, there was a couple more oxygens. There, there's one. And that one is pretty far out there. I may hold off on that. We're going to catch some on the way. There's no doubt in my mind. Let's hit the Titan Worm Burrow. We're going to switch over to our bolt caster. There we go. Fully loaded and ready. Let's head in. So we got to check these guys out. We need eight of them. And we need to pick up the little eggs that they drop or whatever those stupid things are. The pods. Let me let my running juice catch up real quick. Okay. Let's go. Because they like to attack. There we go. And keep moving side to side. Oop. Those guys will punt those things out of the way. The little little guys. Whoop. Yeah, let's get out of his way real quick. Where'd the other one go? There it is. Punted it all the way over here. Alright, we only got a few of them and the Titan thing is gone. So we'll go ahead and recharge. Switch to our mining beam, and we'll grab the condensed carbon. Again, keep moving. These guys will have a harder time hitting you. Okay, there we go. Is there another one? I thought there was another one. Missed it. All right, let's head in the direction of our ship. We will get more Titan Wormborough later. Take a quick look. Look for things underground, too, if you can. Now, we were headed towards that. Magne magnesium ferrite. Magne magnetized ferrite. Magnesium. That's okay. I'll be fine. Long day. Frame manipulator. Magne with the magnetized ferrite, you really need to go on your smallest setting for it, too, by the way. So, make sure you set it to the smallest setting before you pick this up. And the swarm is subsiding, so that's good. These deposits are not huge. And you will need silicate powder, so don't be upset if you get some by accident. We do need a lot of it. So we got about 60, and you want to keep an eye open because you're going to get the silicate and it's going to interrupt your counter. 80, okay. Let's get some more from the outside. About 90, 100, okay. 
120, 130. I said not about 200. Okay, so that's about 150. 70. 80, 90. Okay, we'll get it all. We'll get about 200 out of this. That's nice. We didn't really need 200, but 200 is good. Let's see. And there it is, 200. Look at that, huh? I guess I was counting right. We need some more silicate powder, though. And we're going to not do that. There we go. We're going to do this. You can get it moving. Once it gets moving, you'll be able to gather up a lot of this stuff. There we go. And you'll get a little bit of extra magnetized out of it. But I'm just going to go ahead and dig into the side here. Get a few hundred of it. About three or four hundred is, all, is perfectly fine. Because you're going to run out of this at some point. And you're going to want to have that. So there we go. That looks pretty good. What do you think? About 400? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we're good. Let's go. You know, there's your life supports down. You get two life support gels, so you should be in good shape. Where's our ship? That's the next thing. Ship's that way. Uh, copper 277. So that's our next place we need to go. That looks like magnetized ferrite right there, too. Look at that. I'm going to go up the hill here. Take a look around. I'm going to switch back over to my mining beam. We're down to 16%. We're going to recharge that. Not going to do that yet, as far as... I'm sure you saw that. Here we go. A little more condensed carbon to get. Let's scan. Plenty of oxygen. Got some condensed carbon there. Condensed carbon there. We'll come back to the copper in a second. We'll grab the worms. And then we'll hit the copper. Oh, look, an egg. There's an egg over there, too. So we'll get two. Okay. How are we doing on this now? Let me see. We're up to 244, so we should have enough, and we've recharged once. Now, our life support's down to 4%, so we're going to go ahead and use one of these. And let's grab an egg. Okay. They crowd you a little bit, so it's kind of hard to get your butt moving out of there. There was another egg over here. There it is. We're going to grab that, and then we're going to take on the Titan Worm. Switch to the gun, and on our way. Before they run into me. Alright, looks like we've got at least four more here. One. Two. Ooh, we got a lot of them here. See? See how they do that? Okay, we got everything, but I'm going to take the rest of these out. Because these things here are worth something to you later. So go ahead and do it. There we go. Oh, look, another egg. Isn't that nice? Got him. Okay, got them all. Let's go over here, grab the egg. There we go. I think that's five of them, isn't there? All right, and switch back to mining beam. Looks like we have some oxygen in front of us. Let's grab that while we're here. All right, got that. Now let's go for some copper, shall we? And we'll get some more oxygen later. We need a lot of it. So... There's that. Get some more steps in. We got plenty of the tendrils, so we got that particular milestone complete. There will be more milestones. Let me switch back over to terrain manipulator. Now, for this terrain manipulator, keep it on medium. Okay? Keep it on medium. You only need 400, and these deposits are usually pretty good. And you pick up, for some reason, the copper on this planet is extremely dense, and you pick up a lot of it in the medium setting. So, there's no use in you going into the smaller setting to get it. I've already got 200. Look at that. So, this is great for speedrunners, knowing that you can get all this. You don't need a whole lot. And again, you need about 400. I probably already have it. I'm probably passing 500 by now. But, more is good. So, grab a little extra. Let's check. Look at that. 560. Isn't that fantastic? Fantastic. Alright, so where's our ship? Ship's over that way. We need, uh, let me check our inventory here. We need more oxygen. Like I said, we need about 235. So I need about 180, well, 170 more or so, give or take. So each plant gives me about 20 or so. Hopefully there's a patch of 90 at the ship, but we'll find out, right? Getting a little bit of extra 
C plus there is always a good thing. We won't be able to take out the big one. We don't have the advanced mining laser yet, but that's okay. All the extra that I get right now is just bonus. Sometimes there's two plants next to each other. Most of the time it's one. So, yep, we have a patch down there. Ooh, sodium nitrate. Look at that. Grab it while you can, man. Oh, we can't grab it yet. Okay, so there's only two small little ones here. There's nothing else, so I'm not really going to worry too much. Let's head down to the ship. Get our patch of oxygen. We're going to get the achievement here in a second. There it is. All right, so we've got 90 more. Let's take a look. We are up to 179. I need about 50 or so more. Do a quick scan. Looks like we've got a cave nearby, too. Now, let's get the achievement while we're here because we get the advanced mining laser and a teleport receiver so we can transfer stuff to our ship whenever we want to. Let's put it in there. we got a lot to repair. Um, let's go. we got five eggs. That's excellent. Um, let's go ahead and put the mining laser over here. Where's our mining? There we go. Put it right there. We got the copper. We need two metal plates and a hermetic seal, so let's do that. We, could, we have the resources to do it. Hermetic seal, which is made from oxygen. That's why we need it. One, two. We actually need more of these, so three, four, and five. Make yourself five of them. If you have enough to make another oxygen uh, seal, and this is another seal, go ahead and do it. Uh, there we go. And back over here. So let's install this. All right. So this is ready to go. Um, we need sodium nitrate. We've got a hermetic seal for that, and we don't need it yet. And then we need cobalt and more sodium nitrate. If we go over here, you see we don't have anything to mine with right now. Uh, pardon me, like a refiner. But guess what? If you do this real quick, you get the refiner. Now, there's one more thing you can do here, just so you don't waste time later on. See, I need oxygen. That's why I need some more. I need at least a couple more plants ought to do it, I think. And we, we should be all set. If you go into here, into phase five, even though you get this one, and go ahead and collect that. You know, you're going to get the reward from it, which is worth money. Not much, but worth something. Go to five and go to the a still small voice. And all you do is be calm. And what it means is, is look at the stars. So look upwards. Look at the right bottom corner. See that? This is the only planet you're going to be landing on where the stars are always visible. Day or night. Only place you can do this. And while you're doing this, you see? It's still counting. Go ahead and put your uh, refiner in. Carbon. Oxygen. We still need more uh, oxygen for this. Or the metal plates, I should say. We still need more oxygen. So we're going to collect more. And we'll come back to that. Um, so we can do other things here. Like these things aren't worth a lot. But if we refine them later, we're going to get a lot more out of it. Don't do anything on your ship. If you do any repairs to your ship, it'll cause you problems. We don't really have a whole lot we can do in here. But it'll interrupt the count if we do anything else. So normally what I'd be doing is I'd be opening things up. Like I can go in here and I can open that up. Shield module. And we get that for our personal shield. What does it give us anyway? Let's take a look. Hmm, core health. It's actually worth something, so let's hang on to it. These, by the way, give you food. 40% health. Keep it. Trust me, it's worth something. These are worth a lot. You're going to sell these, okay? And you're going to sell these, too. So we're going to sell all three of these, including these guys over here, even our save beacon. We're going to sell all that. I think I'm going to hang on to this. Well, I'll sell the storm crystal. We'll get more later. So where are we with the time? Let's find out. We're going to select it again. It should show up at the bottom right, but as soon as you hit one minute, there you go. Now, the good thing about this particular achievement, once you get it, just got to go in here and select it, you're going to get three memory fragments. Those are handy, and they're very good for speedrunners, too. What are we getting out of this? Looks like we got the optical drill. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I'm going to go ahead and put it there. Um, let's go here. We got a efficient water jets. We do have to go underwater at one point. I will hang on to this. And what is this one? Plasma launcher. Okay, that's just a boost for that. We're going to uninstall it. And what we're going to get out of that is we're going to get this wiring loom. Very handy. This is not worth anything to us, so we'll probably sell it. Uh, let's see. We got plenty of silicate. Good, good, good. Do we have any oxygen? We still haven't gotten oxygen, so we're going to have to get some of that. So we're done here. Let's go ahead and do a scan. We've got a cave nearby. Let's go into the cave. Take a walk down here, and we're going to get two things, at least one. We're going to get one thing, and that is going to be the cobalt to start with. 
But if we see any plants, don't worry about identifying or, or scanning them. It's, it's just a waste of time. So we're going to get one of those. I need a whole bunch more. And we're also looking for hazardous plants. Hazardous plants, you've got to get nine of them at some point. So you might as well look for them here, but you will get them later on, and I'll show you where. Okay, what do we got to? That is... 70 more, plus the 40 we had earlier, so we're up to 110. 150. Should be more than enough. Let me go in here. There we go, 243. Excellent. Got more than enough. Take a look around. I'm going to turn on my light. Some of you have it on auto. You see there's uh, plants right here. You're getting oxygen from them, so you might as well get it, and sodium both, so it's always worth getting. And how many we get? We got one, two... Okay, we got two plants out of those. And like I said, we'll get more later. Don't waste too much time looking around. I'm going to take a quick peek. Scan plants, and we're going to scan the oxygen and sodium plants if we come across them again. I forgot to do that. It's a good idea. There's a, another plant right there. We can't scan those, so don't bother. So that's three. There we go. Any more? Oh, there's a few more. Look at that. Oh, and there's some down below. We're going to get the achievement here. Good. So this is four, five, once it's done, six, so oh, that's good, a lot of oxygen, that's excellent. Okay, seven, very nice. I think we got all the oxygen we need. Now let's get some sodium out of this too. And we should get the achievement now. But we're going to take the last one anyway. All right, well great, we got them all. So that's fantastic. All right, so we don't have to worry about that later, right? We've got plenty of sodium. How much oxygen did we get? Oh, we got a ton of it. Fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and put that in. Our refiner is done. Let's charge it. That's what you need some of your condensed carbon for. And the other thing we're going to do here is I'm going to go in here and grab our silicate. Where is it? There it is. We don't need much. And we're going to need our dihydrogen. We only need 45. Normally you'd need more than that, but I'll show you why later. 45 to repair your ship for of deuterium. And you get it from dihydrogen and silicate powder in this particular expedition. <clears throat> that is not the usual recipe, just so you know. All right. Deuterium is done. While we're waiting, let's grab our copper and get it going. Now, we're using up all of our copper, right? Well, if you go to the Starship, and I think we're out of range to do this, you can uninstall this. Oh, we got it. You're going to get more condensed carbon and another 100 copper. You're going to use the copper immediately to repair this, 95 of it, right? We can't do that here. Uh, we can't fix that here. We, we are a little bit too far away. So let's go ahead and head back. We don't have to go after any more oxygen now. A little closer to the ship. There we go. All right, let's do some repairs here. So we're going to repair that. Gives us an open spot there. We have condensed carbon to repair it. Let's go ahead and do it. These two, magnetized ferrite. That's why I got a little extra. And this one requires an ion battery, which we haven't made yet. We've got the hermetic seal and the metal plate, like I told you to. And we have the magnetized ferrite, the deuterium, which we just made. Excellent. Now I'm going to put my pulse engine down here for now. Just get it out of the way. And we're going to put the shield over here. We don't have any supercharged slots for our photon cannon. But it will be, it'll still work. We do need to make some ion batteries, so let's go ahead and make those real quick, because we're going to need them later on. That's what some of your ferrite is for, which I'm running low on. Two, three, four. We can make four, but if I'm not mistaken, I think one of these gives you something. Okay, well, we get something from that. That's from building our... I have to get some more life support gel. We are we are not low, so we're okay. Um, let's put this in and this. And I usually switch spots because it usually gives us, you know, some extra recharge and crap like that. So let's go ahead and get it. But we may be surplanting it later. So now that this is done and it's got our chromatic metal, got 220. That's good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. You need 1,600 nanites. Let's just go ahead, and these are worthless to us otherwise. Because they're not worth a lot of money. See, 48 units of that, it's not worth it. So just get it for the nanites. You need about 600 to start with. So let me see what we got. Hold on. We're at 650, so we got plenty. So the rest of the stuff, these guys we're going to sell. Okay? 
Um, pure ferrite. You don't need it. Let's just put it in there and turn it into magnetized. That way it's useful, useful to us. We need more regular ferrite, but if you go over here, you can usually pick up some stuff. Here we got some condensed carbon out of that. Get some resources. Got some oxygen. Rusted metal. We'll turn that into ferrite. We'll get more later. And projectile ammunition. Very nice. Viking effigy we can sell. Get rid of the residual goop. Not needed. And we'll just get some nanites out of this, probably. Excellent. Okay, good. So we're done. Literally, there's nothing more for us to do here. We are finished. Let's get the berry tech. Now, you can dig it out if you want, but one of my techniques that I use is I go into first-person view. I set it to a hotkey. And I go over here, and I can pick it up without digging. So I don't make a mess out of here. And you get four of them. So that's really good. You can sell those. They're worth quite a bit. As you can. Where is it? There it is. 208,000. So that's really worth my time and money doing that. So let's put this in here. We'll take out the magnetized and get that going. And we'll get a little bit of extra ferrite dust out of it. All right. Looks like we're in good shape. I don't think we really need to stay, do you? I think we're done. Okay. What other achievements did we make? We haven't made one except for this one down here in the weeds. We get nip dip buds and starship inventory slots. Let's go ahead and put the inventory slots in, but put, instead of putting them down here, I'm going to put them up here because I kind of need the room. You will make... I'll, I'll get one more of those and I'll put them up there because I like to get some extra uh, charges for the ship. So let's get in the ship. Again, we're in first person view here. That's funny. There we go. I set that to one because normally you're in this view. So I'm going to get out of this view. I'm going to exit real quick. There we go. Much better. Now we're back to normal. All right. Leave this planet behind. We are done. Nothing more to do here. So if we look in here, let's take a quick peek. You got to leave the planet. You got to visit the space station and warp to a new system at some point. But while we're at it, we're going hit, to hit up some asteroids as we leave. So let's go ahead and... Oh, that's where our space station is. So let's go ahead and head straight out. And as soon as we leave the atmosphere, just un undo it. And you should be near a asteroid field. I don't see one, though. That's odd. We should get the achievement in just a second. That was the achievement. There we go. I'm going to do this one more time. Watch for asteroids. Yeah, we're going to have to go to a regular field, which is to my right over here. There we go. All right. No problem. You need 40 asteroids. You get a lot from the asteroids. And for some reason, the asteroids are dropping off these creatures that look like the things underwater that, that are like uh, jellyfish. So I don't know why that is. It's the creepiest thing in the world, and they keep getting in the way of you blowing up these asteroids. See? You need the tritium. So go ahead and take them out. It's good to have it. All these rocks and stuff like that. But one of the milestone uh, rewards you get is you're going to get some warp cells. You need those. You're also hoping to get a little bit of gold. We can use a little bit. We're not going to need as much as, mo as, as a lot of people do to do the expedition. So don't worry about getting a whole ton of it if you do it my way. You don't need that much. I use it as a backup. I think I only need like 20 gold or something like that. So really don't need a lot. Get these rocks over here. Little guy. Back the other way. If I can hit something, right? There we go. 40 asteroids. Head to the space station. We're done. Alright, let's get our achievement. So this is going to give us a scanning upgrade and launch thrusters upgrade. You really want the launch thrusters upgrade. We're also going to get, while we're in our ship, this one. So we get our Starship Inventory slots. Get rid of that. There we go. And again, we're going to put them up here. Two. Three. I want them there. Because I really could use them. And back in here, we're going to put the launch. There we go. Because that's going to help that out. This is really unnecessary, but we'll get it anyway. We should have... We don't have sodium nitrate yet. Let's go ahead and put the sodium into our refiner. There it is. Look how much sodium we got. I mean, this is incredible. Um, I'm going to leave behind a uh, hundred. We'll get an extra one. I hate uneven numbers. And we'll put it in. Grab out of that and get this. We need 80 sodium nitrate to repair our multi-tool. So let's go ahead and get that moving along. You see we've already stopped at the space station. We're going to go ahead and approach it. The space station is abandoned. So 
We got a trade terminal here. We're going to use it. And we have a little cut scene here. There we go. Zzzt. The station's automatic repeater beacon broadcasts a sharp burst of static, powerful enough to automatically engage my starship's communicator. I wait for a follow-up mission, but there's nothing but silence. The airwaves, dead. Disconnect. Zzzt. And you're done. So you know something's going on. There's nothing right. Everything's abandoned. You aren't running into any people. No NPCs. A lot of fun. So let's head up here. Station's abandoned. Looks like our, as you can see, the backpack refiner is still rolling around in there, right? But we should have 80. As you exit this doorway, you get the next achievement. There it is. Lights out. Let's go into our backpack refiner. It's just finishing up, and we're going to pull out the sodium nitrate. Let's go to our multi-tool. There's a reason why I'm doing this, and we're going to repair the two spots in here. 40, and over here, 40. There's our other supercharged slot right there. We don't really need to have the bolt caster in there, so go ahead and pull it out. Um, you could do it with your mining tool if you want, but honestly, just do your scanner because you want to be able to see a little further. Let's charge him while we're here. And we're going to move this down here. And we have one supercharged slot there, so I'll go ahead and leave it in there. That's fine. And we're going to move the uh, bolt caster down a little bit in case we get any more upgrades. This one I think we can repair. Yeah, cobalt. That's why we got the extra cobalt. And then we have these two. So chromatic metal, we do have enough of, but I'm going to hold off that for just for now. It's what I recommend doing too. Please don't do that. But this one we can get. Carbon nanotube and a hermetic seal. We're going to do that in a minute. Go back to your starship. Repair the last spot with an ion battery and the oxygen you have. You have the resources, go ahead and use it. So let's go in here. I'm going to make a few more of these. Uh, seven, that's fine. I don't think we'll need any more. Okay, so we're all set to sell a whole bunch of things. Our ship is fully repaired. We're going to leave this open for our uh, hyperspace uh, units that we get. Let's go ahead and open these up. Got plenty of that now. We only got 19 gold, but that's okay. I'll grab, probably grab a, uh, a pearl from underwater at some point so I can make extra if I need it. Uh, surge batteries. You will need a sixth one. I don't think... Yeah, we don't have the recipe for it yet. So we can't make any. All right. So let's get to selling. And do we get the achievement? Yes, make do and mend. That's why we repaired everything real quick, as much as we could. That is going to give us something special. We do this, and we're going to get 40 salvage data. You can't spend it anywhere. So just, I mean, you can, but there's no reason to do so. Uh, so go ahead and get it. And you're going to also upgrade your multi-tool. One, two, three, four, five. And let's go to a new class. See, B-class multi-tool. And you can check it real quick if you want to see if you got any extra slots. So it looks like we have that one to begin with. And these two super, oh, both of these are supercharged now. So that's great. All right. So you're all set. Look at that scanning range. Awesome. All right. So we're back to it. We're going to sell this stuff off real fast here. So let's go into the... Yep, get rid of that. I know. For some reason, I always get on the light. I have no idea why it does that. So you have no money. Sell things. We're going to get. We're going to hang on to the Storm Crystal because we have plenty of money now. We're going to get rid of things we don't need, right? Don't need those guys. Um, oh, get rid of the Save Beacon. You don't need it, trust me. Unless you want to, it's up to you. Uh, let's see. Vikeen Effigy. The Nip Nip Buds. Smuggled, so you don't want to get into trouble on having that on your board. The Flesh Rope's worth 250. The Salvage Data, 2.2 million. All right, so we got everything. What do we want to buy? Keep it in your exosuit. Go down here and go to Fecium. Just get one. It's all you need. You need Rusted Metal. You're going to turn that into more ferrite. Silicate Powder. Just grab it. It doesn't cost much anyway, and you need all the carbon. Now that you have that, switch back over to your Starship inventory and get four of these. You can get 11, but just get four. Okay? One, two, three, four. They cost a lot. There's a reason why we're doing that. So I'm going to drop this in here and get that going along. Let me recharge this real quick and we'll get that ferrite dust going. All right, let's jump over here to our Starship and see what we got. So we got one, two, three, four. What we're looking for is things that go on your ship. This does. If you uninstall it, you will get 125 cadmium. We need 250. Now, even if you have 125, it's enough. Cyclotron is the second one. Now we have 250. We also got wiring looms. That's really handy. Let's do the scatter blaster. We're going to get another wiring loom out of that. So that's great. And we need those. We got to install some stuff later on. 
Now, what are we doing with the rest? Now, I haven't sold the larval cores. Um, we could sell them just to get out of our, out of our inventory. Uh, let me reorganize things. We do need a hermetic seal and a carbon nanotube. Didn't we mention we needed those? So let's go to the multi-tool and just repair that one more slot real fast and get it out of the way. Okay, good. Now, we are going to repair that at some point, but I'm not going to worry about it yet. Okay, I think we've got enough. So let's go ahead and sell the last thing. But you notice we did get something out of it. Um, let's go ahead in here and sell the... Oh, we're in the buy mode. Okay, sorry. Larval cores. Okay, they're gone. And you notice we got something else. It's in our ship inventory. This thing. Got 200,000 for it. So let's go ahead and sell it. We don't need it. The other thing we do need, though, and this I recommend doing, and I have a, I have a reason for doing so. You need these. Get as many as you can. I'm going to get all 10 of them because I have the money to do so. You don't have to open them now. You can do them in between while you're while you're jumping from planet to planet to planet. Okay? So, but what you're doing is you're looking for something that you're not going to get in any other means. Um, I think I put it in my ship by accident. Yeah, let's put it back over there. All right. Let's open them up. Okay. You're not going to get any special things out of it. What I'm looking for is this. Movement modules. You need those. I only got one this time, but look at that. The sprint recovery time is not great. Your jetpack and your sprint distance is really good. And that's what we're looking for. See, the sprint distance on this one, the recharge rate is pretty good. I'm going to drop it in here and give myself a good boost out of that. we got some hyperdrive modules, so I'm going to drop them in my starship. Looks like these are pulse engine modules. Excellent. This is scanner, which we don't really need. And you got some starship modules. We'll put it on our ship. So let's see what this gives us. Wow, that's quite the boost. 28%. Nice. And this one? 1730. Look at how far I'm able to scan now. Unbelievable. That's going to come in handy later on. And we can uninstall them if you want, but we're going to go ahead and install some stuff. So the hyperdrive modules, what do we get? Let's put them in. We want distance, not really efficiency. These are worthless to us. I really don't see any reason to get them. So I'm going to go ahead and uninstall them and get the wiring looms as well as chromatic metal. Now that we have extra chromatic metal, we can do more with it. This will come in handy. Let me see here. Efficiency and boost. Let's go ahead and use it. That's a shield. We're going to go ahead and uninstall it. We don't need it. Same thing with this. We're getting sodium out of it. Very handy. More chromatic metal. That's why you don't really need as much stuff as you think you need. All right, this one gives us a good boost. It's not great, but it's okay. And that one gives us a boost as well, right? Excellent. That's much, much better. Um, mobility, 280, 383. Let me move some stuff around. 386. Okay, good. That's going to give us a great, great, great boost for efficiency. So let's charge it. We're ready to go. You want to get a couple more of these, and I'm going to show you where to get them. All right, now if we get our last... Uh, where are we here? Lights out. It's going to give us our hyperdrive technology. We need five microprocessors, and we can't buy them here. Okay? So we're going to put it in. I'm going to put it in down here, hyperdrive. Okay? We're going to add the chromatic metal. And that's really the only, the only thing we need chromatic metal for at this point, so we can repair the last slot on here if we wish. Great. All repaired. Done. Starship's ready to go. We need five of those, right? You also need another resource. You, needed, you need activated copper. You need 64 of it for later on. So you might as well get a couple hundred of it if you need more chromatic metal. We've got 285. We really don't need more. So if I just jump down to the planet and get like about 100, chromatic, uh, 100 activated copper, we're in good shape. But there's another reason I'm going to go to this planet that's straight in front of us. So here's the hint, folks. Don't deviate your path. As you look straight at that planet, don't move. Just pulse drive straight to it. There's a storm going on, but I'm going to show you something. As you come into the atmosphere, head straight down into this lake right in front of you. And look right over here, and you're going to find a little thing that you need. And that is a submerged freighter. The submerged freighter is one of your milestones. Get your submerged freighter. Land on top of it. And get out. Jump down and get your achievement. Eh. I didn't run out. That's okay. I'm not in a rush. It's not a speed run. Okay. Go to the unit here. And talk to it. 
Now we have a lot of animals and a lot of plants to go ahead and scan, so don't forget to do that while you're here. Alright, Fathoms Below explored it. So we're done here. Start scanning things. We've got a supercell approaching. Let's go ahead and get the animals. There's one. Looks like there's one in the distance over there. There he is. It's telling me I have it. There's two. And you also want to get the plants. So now we head over here. I'm only going to get something real quick while I'm over here. Because I know it's here. I need those crystal sulfides. We need to gather 12. I'm just going to get three. That's all I'm going to do now. Scan some plants while you're here. And the reason why you also got those extra batteries is you're going to need to recharge your self here. Your protection. Two. There's one more over here. Three. Go through. And if you go into first person view, you can get your living pearls out of here pretty easily. See? And you don't get attacked. <laughs> All right. Scan some plants. There's a couple more. There's one right there. And if you see any more plants, go ahead and grab them, but I don't see any at the moment. I'm Charge is running low, so I'm going to go ahead and hit it. I'm also running out of oxygen. Let's hit the surface real fast. There we go. And we'll head back to the ship. Alright, so that worked out nice. We've got a few plants, we've got a few animals. That's fine. It says the craft a carbon nanotube. I have no idea why. Oh, to make the microprocessors, of course. We don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to show you a little something here. So as you run up the side of the ship here, run. Try not to use your jetpack. You need the steps. Get back to your ship. And we're going to show you a little something next. Wind, wind events will affect you here, so be careful. they got tornadoes. It really kind of hurts. All right. As you leave, you're going to see that you have settlements nearby. Look for a settlement that says... Oh, it's to the left, to the left, to the left. Well, I'll be darned. The settlement is gone. All right. Go to the left side of this unit right here, this particular island here, and you'll see another one in the distance right there. Go between them and head in this general direction. And you should see a landing pad appear before you very shortly right about here. Watch for it. There it is. Head for the landing pad. Select it, and look what you're next to. A comms tower. Well, guess what? You need to get a comms, comms tower as one of your milestones. Let me show you. So we just got this particular reward here, Fathoms be Below. What does that give you? It gives you a Starship class upgrade, inventory slots times five, and an emergency signal scanner, which is used in this one. So we're going to do that while we're here. So let's go ahead and put this in. I don't need any more slots up here. I'm done. So I'm going to add in some augmentations here. There we go. And we got it. So very, very nice. Um, it still wants us to make that stuff. I'm going to put this in here real quick and get some gold out of it. Takes a moment. There you go. Put it in your ship. 200 gold. Hang on to your crystal sulfides for now. And we got a signal booster. We're going to need that. Okay. All righty. How we doing? Doing good there. Starship looks pretty good, right? Yes. There's our signal scanner. Very, very good. Oh, we got a boost slot. Okay. So we're going to put our hyperdrive up there when we get done here. Okay. Great. So our next thing is, is that we're going to jump out of the ship here and hit the comm tower. Problem is, is that it's going to take us a little bit of time to get up there. So hopefully the storm will clear and we can start scanning some of these animals. But we may not have enough time before a wind event occurs. Okay. Get your achievement, get it out of the way. Wind event, see? So hopefully we can get this done. You need sodium for this. We're going to go ahead and do it shouldn't affect us while we're doing this. Go through what it has to say. Bzz. Communication tower and its powerful relay si sit idle. There is nothing in the log, no sign of its creator, no sign of its users. There's nothing but a lonely monument to something long forgotten. We're going to transmit anyway. Bzz. With the power restored, I send out a signal. I wait, but without hope. There is no way to tell if it worked. No response, no confirmation. Just a meaningless blast into an empty void. Scan. Bzz. I activate a signal sweep, but there is nothing out there. No pattern, no flickering signal, just the empty noise of static. The background crackle of the universe itself. Boost the receiving power. I boost the relay's power as high as it will allow. The whine and hiss of the relay building to a crescendo. Oh, the storm's clearing. Good. Through the static, there comes the faintest trace, a thread of a signal, an anomaly. And that's what we're looking for. Okay, so we're done with that. You'll see that what we did is we achieved 
This. We don't really need those. The advanced ion batteries for your ship. Cloaking device. You don't really need it. So don't worry about it. Go back over here. Drop down. Whee! Looks like there's still a tornado there. It should have been gone by now. And let's scan some of these animals while we're here. While things are calm, please. Looks like we got another one right up there. So that's two animals. Let's, there is only one plant on this planet other than like sodium and oxygen and stuff like that. There's only one plant and it's purple. So if you can see it, just scan it. It's the only one you got here. There it is right there. Right there. That's it. No use in checking all these things out. They're all inorganics and the other plants don't even come up. All right. So our extreme is getting problem. We're going to go in here. Our shield's dropping. So now leave this. And you're going to head just to the right of that, that rock sticking up in the, in the air there. Just a little bit to the right and on the ground over here, there should be... I missed it somehow. Great. There it is. That there. This building. Now, if your weather is good... Let me get in here real quick. There we go. If your weather is good, you can gather the eggs. I suggest waiting on that. You can get the eggs later, okay? Honestly, there's no use in doing it here. What I want you to do is scan for an activated copper deposit right over there. If if you look around a little bit, look for some heptaloid wheat, but you don't find much around here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it's, there's none around here. Pulpy roots, strawberries, yeah, and you got the uh, gamma wheat right there. And that's it. So, work your way over here. If a storm pops up, you're okay, but you're really after getting some steps in. And you can watch your run stuff over there and check it out. So while you're doing this, watch for animals. There's one floating in the distance over there we can pick up, right? Okay, there's one. Looks like there's another one over here. We'll grab him. You need as many as you can get. You need 32 animals, so, you know, it takes a while to get all that. Just keep going. And like I said, you only need 64 of the activated copper. Um, in our case, we got a lot of stuff that we got chromatic metal from, so we really don't need a whole lot more than that. And if you need some uh, magnetized ferrite, there's some right there, I think. Is it magnetized? Yeah, it is. If you needed some more, you can get it there. Looks like we're going to need to use a battery. The terrain is terrible around here. Pull in your ship because you think you're going to need it. Drain manipulator. There we go. And we're going to use a battery real quick. There we go. And I'm just going to put it on medium setting. Like I said, I don't need a ton. And I'm going to get just about 100. There we go. Looks like we got plenty already. Look at that. 100. 100 it is. I'll grab one extra because I'm greedy. Right? Greedy for resources. Just go ahead and grab some extra because we can. All right. We're good. We're good. All right, where are we going next? We're going to leave here, and you see that rock that we had there, right? Oh, yeah, we got to recharge that. Launch fuel. You're going to need some of that. So you see this rock here that we want that we went next to? Go this way, and if you look to the right, you're going to see there's an archive right there. Head over to it. Try to land on the upper platform if you can. That always likes to pinpoint the bottom one. And there we go. Out of your ship. Walk the long way. Try not to use a jetpack. We're going to go to the trade terminal over here. Hopefully you should have enough money to do this. And if you go in here, you're going to find... Look, microprocessors. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to get five of those. I'm going to get a few metal plates. Uh, I'll get like four of them. Get a few of these launch fuels. Switch to Starship. One, two. I'm going to get three. And anything else? Let's get the ferrite dust. We can't. We don't really need it. We can get carbon nanotubes if you want. You don't really need them anymore. Let's get, get some extra magnetized ferrite. And if you want to get copper or salt, you can. You don't need the salt anymore because you don't have to build the Nautilin. Isn't that great? All right. So we're done here. No reason to get. No reason to get maps or anything else. Just go ahead and leave. Now we don't have a storm yet. There should be one coming soon. So while you're here. I like to go by this rule. You need to find 12 save points. Like the place we were just at. I, sh I forgot I was supposed to grab the save point there. So maybe I can go back there real quick. Do a quick scan. Look for any places that you can land. Should be one over here. 
No, it's not going to show me now. All right. That's okay. Just head out and look for any places to land. Like right here, this is where we stopped earlier. So we forgot something while we were here. I'm going to go ahead and land and we're going to do it again. And it's the save points right here. These survey locations. Grab it. You need at least two per planet. So there's one. I should have grabbed it earlier. It was a waste of time. And the other place that we went to over here had its own. There it is right in front of me now. I can see it. And we're going to grab the second one, which is straight over there. So, yeah, kind of a waste of fuel, but that's okay. We got it. We got it. And there's the second one. You can grab the resources here if you wish. I don't need them. So that's two. There's really nothing more to do here. You are done with this planet. Take off. Was that? I bet you anything it was. If you want to get heptaloid wheat, you can. Um, if you head this direction, I think it is. Let me just check here. I think it's over this way, if I remember correctly. There's a building there, and there should be an oxygen patch nearby. That's a beacon. Beacons don't count. Don't land at beacons. They don't help you in any way. Yeah, I can't find it here now. We can get heptaloid wheat later on, and I'll worry about it later. So let's go ahead and exit this planet. We don't really need to be here anymore. Let's head out, because we're coming up on an hour already, and I want to get us moving along. So we have our five microprocessors, right? So let's go back to our starship and install them. Done. Drop in your warp cells. And you see our hyperdrive range is 112. We're now up to 140, so that's nice. I do wish I had got some upgrades that could have gone into it, but that's okay. We're going to get a few later. So we're going to get some achievements here in just a minute. And when we do, we're going to go ahead and activate that. And head out. And as it scans, we're going to drop in on the derelict freighter. Now, this derelict freighter in this system is a great one to get because there are no bugs. If you don't like, if you like, if you hate the bugs and you hate going through derelict freighters with bugs, yeah, let's go to this one and let's land. So let's let's as soon as it stops moving, I'm going to show you our milestones and where we're at. All right, we have completed six of the eight ones here. We got to warp to a new system and go to the first rendezvous. We go to phase two. We got the faintest echo. I'm not going to worry about the achievement for that. And you know what? I should gather it, though. When we're done, we'll get it all. We still have to go to the anomaly, but that's going to be coming in a little bit. Uh, we have to explore more on foot. See, we only got 3,000 of the 9,000 required steps, but we'll get more. We need more eggs. We're going to get that at rendezvous one. And we have to get to the top of a mountain. We're going to get that later, and we'll get that at rendezvous one as well. We've got a whole bunch of stuff to get here. We've got some plants. That's good. We haven't done a crash ship yet. We're going to get that in a little bit. And here's where we are right now, the derelict freighter. We're going to do that right this second. We've already got half the nanites we need. We're going to get the rest. No problem. Five ruins, too. We're going to get those. And then finally, we got six creatures so far. We still got to get the robot creatures. We'll get those later. We've got to cook our own food, and we'll get that. We see we've already created, created a, pardon me, completed a few within phase five. So three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 we've completed. We're about to complete a 13th right now. So let's get out of the ship and head in, shall we? You're going to switch over to your gun. If your lamp or torch doesn't come on on its own, turn it on. You will get cold, have a few extra batteries floating around. Should be the last time you'll need them. Head on in. Turn on the heater. Get the stuff out of this container this computer here so severe incident total lockdown no crew life signs detected we need the manifest and the captain's log let's continue on cargo intense and integrity this is all normal if you've done it before i'm not going to read through it restart internal gravity screw do do do, do. go on to restart hazard control and i'm not going to bother getting the supplies because you'll get them anyway just unseal the door you hit the tab button and get through that little scene there it'll get this opening up faster First thing you do, walk up to the door, proceed with caution as you step through. It's going to give you something at the bottom right. Click on it and do a scan. See that thing right there, the log snippet? 
head over there. And you're looking for credentials. Hopefully it has it. Partial cargo manif manifest? Nope, it ain't going to have anything. Leave. Oh, it did give us a security manifest. Go figure. We got lucky there. Okay. And go through any door that has this, the blue. Okay? Door one. Go to the first computer. This is your crew manifest. Just go through it. It takes a little while to get through it. You're being shot out. It's not hurting you because you're in the middle of something. So don't worry about dying here. You're not going to die. We just keep click, 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 clicking on everything and get rid of it all. Okay, it's going to tell us where everybody was and we'll get the... There it is. And then run this way. Don't worry about them hitting you. You're good. So there's this door here. You're running opposite direction over here. Okay? And go down this hatch. Drop down. Don't hit the ladder. And if you pull back a little bit, you won't hit the ladder by accident. Another white door. Head through it. You notice my extreme weather is dropping fast. If you want to find a heater and warm up, go ahead. But you're going to keep getting shot at, so I suggest just use your batteries. Go to the next door. Open it. And we're through. This is a neat cargo ship because it has ships on board. You can't claim these, but you can scavenge from them. And you can get a photon cannon module. And usually this is a pulse engine. Okay. Sometimes it gives you different stuff. Go through the door. Next section. Nothing going on here. Head for a door. Where's the door? Door's over there in the corner. Just take the shortest route. Don't go to the purple ones. The white ones is what you want. You want, if you want to pick stuff up along the way, you can. I don't. Okay, we're on to this one. There's the door we're going through, but we've got to go to this computer first. So this is the captain's computer. That's why you needed your credentials, because it tells you access denied. So you have to tell them that the captain died. I usually choose two. You can choose whatever you want. Extinguished. Duty officer. We're going to log in as that officer there, the biologist. Welcome. Read the captain's log. And it's going to tell you all about all the horror that occurred just before they all disappeared. It's up to you if you want to read it. It's all kind of creepy, and every ship you land on is different. Leave. You now got the rare item. Go through the door. Looks like we're going to need another battery. Drop down your hatch. And you're at the last spot. I usually shoot those guys. I turn this on. And turn this on. I'm going to see if we can get through this before I die. Control panel. Just get the first thing. You really, If you want to get something from it, it is completely up to you. I'm going to go through. And I'm standing right next to the heater over here. So I can warm back up. See? Recovering. Just let it go all the way up. And then run out the door. You are now done with the derelict freighter. And it usually, if you run right through it without reading anything too quickly, you can get it done in about three minutes. We're done with that. On to the ship. There's nothing more to do in the system. Take off. Go into hyperspace. Now, your first objection is you're going to want to go to Rendezvous 1, right? It's all the way over here. You can't get all the way there because you can't go that far, right? I'm going to jump to the first system. But before I do, I'm going to look real quick. We're going to back up just a little bit. And we're looking for a tri tri uh, three stars in a row that are close by. And of those three stars, there's a nice little planet. I think that's it. Nope, that's not them. It's over here. There they are. You're looking for this planet. Funnunnings is where you want to go. Now, there is a planet along the way that'll give you your dissonant uh, world. I like going there because the planet you're going to is right in front of you. Number one, the planet they send you to, is it's much, much further out in the system. So it takes you a good 30 to 40 seconds to get there. This one is right next to you. This is our first hyperspace jump, so once, as soon as we exit, we're going to go right back into hyperspace. Here we go. Don't scan anything, there's no reason to, just go back to the galaxy map. So there's the direction it wants us to go in, but you remember those three worlds? We're looking for, which is, where'd they go now? Oh, there they are. Right there, Funonix. See, it's dissonant. We're now in range of it. We're going to go ahead and go there. 
Now, we're going to do a few things here. We're never actually going to get to Rendezvous 1 from this world. Because once we're done with what we need to do here, it's going to boot us, boot us into another system. And then we're going to have to take some big jumps to get back to Rendezvous 1. But that's okay. We don't have to worry about that, because by then we'll have some upgrades for our hyperdrive. And here we are. The planet we're going to is right in front of us. Right. Come on. There. Icebound planet. My suggestion is, once you get that off the screen, where it's pointing, center it. Try to go straight where it's pointing at, okay? What you're looking for is an island, of course, in the water. See all these little islands here? You're looking for one that stays completely white as you approach. You see how some of them turn dark? You got this one here that stays completely white. Go to it. And land. Couple things we're going to do here. Now as you exit the ship, look around. You see there's really nothing around here, right? But you do have something here. You got crystal sulfides everywhere. But before we hit those crystal sulfides, because we need nine more, we're going to drop our signal booster down. And we're going to look for a couple things. First things first, we go into our inventory of our ship, and you'll see we have this C-class reactor. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, put this over there in our ship, get rid of it, and the repair. We've got these things. I like to just put them in the ship to get rid of them. All right, we got our activated copper, right? All right, anything in here? No, we're good? Okay, good. Go to your starship, and you're going to have these surge batteries. They're used to help... Bomb, help. They go through your search signal booster, and every time you search for something, it uses a battery. You're going to need six. I've only got five, so I should be able to craft one more. There we go. And that's all we need to do. While we're here... I'll just leave that there. I don't, we don't really need it. And the C-Class reactor, where is it? The pulse engine module. I'm going to go ahead and install maneuverability at 420. That destroyed it. What does this give us? Plus 3? Nah, that gives us plus 2, but it's also got a plus 2 boost. It's useless. Uninstall it, you'll get yourself another wiring loop. So that's good. And you get yourself a little bit more cadmium and stuff. So, hey, always a good thing. All right. We're done here. We need six of them, right? Here's our first one. The first thing we're going to do is, lo is instead of locate nearby structures, you see we don't have what we're looking for. So you have to go into your milestones, and the first thing we need to find, we, there's two things we need to do here. We need to find, in phase four, five ancient ruins, and in phase three, a crashed ship. So I'm going to find the crashed ship first. I have to select it, and if you go back in here, you now have search scan for damaged ships. Use a surge battery. We're going to go ahead and do that. So it's finding us a crashed ship. It's pretty far away. Don't worry about it. There are only there are other ships on this planet, some sentinel ships you can get. This there's only like one or two crashed ships on the planet. This always gives me that one. So the second thing we're gonna do is go to phase four, choose five ancient ruins, and we're gonna ask it to search for one. Now there are two ruins that'll find us. One of two ruins that'll find us. It'll either find one find one in the middle of a landmass. Or it'll find one in the ocean. I never know which one I'm going to get. If I get one in the ocean, I'm in good shape. But I think that one's on in the land. Even though it looks like it's in the ocean, it's on the other side of the planet. So, pick up our signal booster before we go. Again, look for your crystal sulfides. We're going to select one. And we're going to dive off the edge. You're pretty high up off the water, so be, be advised you are going to get hurt. There we go. little boost. And pick up your three crystal sulfides. And there. That's one. Don't worry about scanning anything right now. Head to your crystal sulfides and gather them first. One. There's the second one. We need one more after this. And there should be one more right here. Yeah, here. That's the one we're looking for. This one over here, too. Which one is that? 50. 50. Okay, let's just go to this one. And while you're there, you can go ahead and scan some animals, if you wish. We're going to scan a few more while we're under here. Let's get this one. One, two, I'm stuck, three. Ha <laughs> ha, damaged me anyway, but I got our, I got our crystal sulfides. All right, let's jump up into the, towards the surface, and we're going to start scanning everything now. There's one, we already got him. Looks like we got a guy, plant, let's get the plant. There's two, there's another biological, that's another one. 
Biological, we'll grab it. There's another one. Good, good, good. That should be all the biologicals. Let's get out of the in, into the out of the water for a second so we don't die. And scan plants if you can find them, please. There should be a lot of them. Yep, there's one. And start heading towards your ship while you're doing this. Oh, what was that? Plant? Let's grab it. You don't really need anything else. Plant. Plant. You don't have to stay pointing at it while you're scanning. You can look away and look for other things. Alright, I think we got everything. Looks like we got all the animals we could possibly get in the water. For now. And that should be enough. I think we're good. You can get five animals per planet. It's usually pretty good. I try to go for six or seven. We'll get more here. And then, as long as you're right against the face of this, you're not going to use your jetpack too much. It won't die. There we go. All right. So we're done with this area. Let's jump in your ship. So I'm going to head towards the ancient relic first. The ancient ruin, I should say. Which in this case is a plaque. There we go. We're going to lock in on it. And boom. So we'll go here. we're going to go here first. Yep. One in the middle of land, as you can see. If you find the one in the middle of the water, you get fortunate because there's another ancient ruin right within 50 yards of it. What's that? What is that? That is a monolith. Monoliths are useless to you. Do not go to monolith. They do not count. Warning. Warning. And you can do some scans, too, if you want. I, I've never found another ancient plaque or ruin nearby that I could use. So. If you want to get the, uh, the mirrors and stuff like that, that's entirely up to you. I'm not going to. Alright. Let's go in here. And I'm not going to read it. It's not important because it doesn't go with anything in the storyline. So just seek help with language. Don't worry about knowledge of the past. That's all you need to do here. Now, you remember what I told you about the hazardous plants? You can get a few here if you wish. There's some that sit outside here and a couple deeper in here. But I'll show you another place you can get them that's also equally as good. Okay, so we're going to jump in here. We're not going to get our radiant charge yet. Let's go ahead and exit. We're going to go to our crash ship. Everything else we're going to do is going to be over there. Make sure we're locked in on it. If I can get my ship to obey me. There we go. On our way. So this is obviously going to be a long episode. I'm not going to divide it into a couple. But I thought I'd give you a treat of the Adrift Expedition. In a kind of not so fast manner. And yet pretty fast. I think we're going to complete this in about two hours for you guys. So. Okay. Distress Beacon. Head in. If you stay up a little high and then come in. That's always good. Because you'll get there a little bit quicker. You can also adjust your power distribution to go to your your engines a little quicker that way if you want. It's up to you. All right, so here's the crash ship. So in your main inventory of your exosuit, make sure you have a metal plate and a medic seal. It's the only two things you need. Why? Why can't I? Why don't I need to repair everything else? Because your launch thrusters are already fixed on this ship. You don't need them. Compare, claim. Go back in. Fix it with the two things you just made. Go ahead and take this if you wish. You can actually install it in your ship and uninstall for a little extra sodium. And again, you've got caves right here. But what we're going to do is I'm going to jump in and out of my ship for just a second. Just so I can re-sync back up real fast. There we go. Head in this direction where you see that radiant shard sticking up. Now there are some storms that can come here, so be careful. Go ahead and grab... The extra condensed carbon, if you wish. I usually do, just because. Okay. And done. While you're here, scan some more animals. Now, this planet is also sparse on plants. I don't know why, but it is. Makes no sense to me, but there you are. And there are also diplos here. They're the big, big, big dinosaur things. There you go. There's one right there. 
He's just far away. All right, we got everybody. Okay, we got all the people. Uh, pardon me, all the all the animals, people. Uh, okay. And the plants, like I said, you can you can sit there and point to to the ground to your heart's content. There's only one plant here. There it is. Got it. Okay, so we got the one plant. There's some more condensed carbon if you wish. There are plenty of radiant shards. You're going to need three of them. And there are two of these are Atlantidium. So two. Three. And that'll complete that milestone. There we go. Let's get the Atlantidium. We need 99 of it. There's one. There's another one peeking its head above the rock over here. So there's two. There we go. If you do a quick scan, there should be... There's usually an oxygen plant right here. I don't see them at the moment. we got some sodium plants. If you need sodium, grab it. But go ahead and scan them too while you're at it. And if you look, you're going to have about... Oh, wow. I got 99 out of that. Psh, I'm going to grab an extra. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Good to see you. I'm just going to grab one just in case. I think it's 99. Maybe it's 100. I could be wrong. And yeah, there's an oxygen plant right there. So just go ahead and scan that too. All right. We've got all of our plants scanned that we can get. So let's move on. And that's it with this planet for the most part. Now, if the... And there's nothing else here. I don't think there's anything else we need here. You can get resources if you wish. I don't need them. Moving on. All right. We are literally done with this planet now. So what we're going to do is we're going to head out of here. And we've got our three radiant shards. We've got Atlanta Diem. We've got everything we need in order to call in the anomaly. So let's pull in the anomaly. Off we go. Yep, yep, yep. Bang, bang. Oh, what? Well, you know, tr tritium hypercluster. Go figure. And a gold nugget. Ah, go figure, right? Unbelievable. Let's go ahead and recharge some stuff while we're here. We're not going to recharge that yet. I would like to be more efficient than that. So what kind of achievements did we get? We got this. We don't need seeds or the computer-based plans or the planetary chart. We don't really need it. We don't need this. And again, we'll get all these things later as we end the expedition, so don't worry about it. We don't need we need that right there. The warp hypercore plans and the antimatter, get it. We need that plan. The other thing we need is the one right below it. That is the abandonment from, from the crash ship. Hyperdrive upgrades and launch thruster upgrades. Very, very handy. Get them. So let's go ahead and put this in. Launch thruster upgrade. We got two of these. What's our hyperdrive range? 140, 364, 560, 575. Okay, that's pretty good. It's not great, but it'll work for me. And it really doesn't make a difference. You leave it at 575 and you put this over here, and you get 588. 600? All right, well, I guess we'll do it. Think that worked out better. What do you think? All right, good. Let's get out of here. So we need our steps. Remember I told you that? Where are we at stepwise? Let's check phase two. We're at 4,000 after we did our derelict freighter and all the extra running around we just did. So rather than take the pad over there and go up there, I'm going to walk all the way up using this ramp. It's also a test for me to see how my running is doing. It looks like it drops very slowly. That's going to be very, very handy. So you can keep at a higher running pace for a longer period of time. It's too low. Let it recharge. It's not recharging terribly fast, but it's pretty good. I like it. It'll work for me. All right. So here we are at the prime terminal. No authorization detected. Secondary simulation 16 protected. This terminal, like the station itself, feels so designed, so deliberate. It was cared for, but is nearly as empty and abandoned as everything else. Nearly, but not quite. Cursor blinks on the terminal screen, a question looking for an answer. Something is listening, even if it's just a machine. Request access. I type several commands into the terminal, but receive nothing but static in return. But as I remove my hands from the input, something flickers. A small data packet. A set of plans for a device called a mind arc. Okay, someone or something must have uploaded this data. Their final act? They must have wanted it to be found. So there's our mind arc. You notice it requires the hypnotic eye that we never sold from our inventory. Hang on to that. The 99 Atlanta Diem, 
That's what we needed. And we got 64 activated copper. The only time you're going to need it. So let's create that mine dart. Put that in my ship. That in my ship. We're going to get rid of the rest of those. We don't really need those. And we got plenty of carbon to go by. All right. We're in good shape, shall we? We go back into the terminal that we, that we made it. Again, gives us the same information. I have built the mind arc, though I have no closer understanding what it's for. It is a real mess. Pardon me. Is it a real message, a pattern in the noise, or just another flicker of a faded world? Connected. Gives us a whole bunch of numbers. I ain't reading it, folks. The screen spits out thousands of numbers, row after row of data, moving at speeds I cannot process. It appears to be transferring data to the mind arc. Secondary simulation 16 updated. Population decrement complete. Isn't that interesting? The endless stream of data finally settles. Unbidden, my exosuit appears to interpret this final chunk as a set of planetary coordinates. We'll accept it. Okay. So we're done with the anomaly. We Believe it or not, we're never going to return here again at all. So I'm going to take the long way real quick to get the extra steps in. We can keep going that way if you wish. It's up to you. I don't care. I got more steps to get elsewhere. Okay, slow down. That's good. We should be able to make it to the ship on that. Okay, again, I'm tempted to use a jetpack here, but I'm not going to. And we're back. Exit. Not the ship. Exit the station, you dummy. There we go. We got this. We got this. On our way out of the station. Return to space to locate the portal. And the portal's to our right. It's on that planet over there. And we're going to select it. Now, remember what I told you about planets. Um, the one thing we didn't do on the ice planet is we didn't get two more survey points. Like right here. Well, I should have gotten two more. That's my mistake. I didn't do it. My bad. We do need... We don't need that. If you want a freighter, you can get it. But I'm not going to get it. Actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and get it. Should show me the freighter. That's fine. I'll claim it. Because it's worth something. That's why. Uh, we can get that later. I'm not going to get it now. We don't need that. And we definitely don't need underwater construction plans and a marine shelter anymore. So, all right. On our way. So as we leave, we get to this planet. It's not terribly far away. It takes about 30 to 40 seconds to get here. I'd rather it be on the planet right in front of me, but I'm surviving. Now, remember that ancient ruin we told you to get? Okay. Pay attention. So as we come in on this planet, you see this bulge of a hill here, right? Go to the left side of it and head towards the peak beyond it. As you come in close to this peak here, like right about here, scan. See that unknown building? Land there. This is just a survey point. Now you see that this is a, you know, regular ordinary planet. It's got plants on it. Scan everything. Get your survey point. And I'm going to get this guy too because I can get my health restored. Yay. Not the light. Always does that. I don't know why. Now, and here's the thing. If you needed those hazardous plants, guess what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think there's seven or eight right here alone. And if you go down in there, I can see two more. Eight and nine. At least. Okay? Scan the plants, including the, the, the marrow bulbs. Okay? And then whatever plants you can get. Another plant. Plants are harder to come by on some of the planets you're going to be going to, so get them while you can. Okay. All right. Now, if you look down here, you have an unknown building. Why is it doing that? Let's try that again. There we go. Unknown building. It's got some cactus and stuff around. I haven't found any heptaloid wheat nearby, so I don't bother trying to look for it, but there are plenty of animals. So if you see an animal, scan it. Might as well get them too. Alright, so we're done here. We're going to actually take the long way. So we're going to head towards that building by going up this area here. And as you get up, go ahead and start looking around at the plants in case there's a plant here you haven't scanned, or an animal. 
plant. Okay. Another animal over there. Grab him. See? Fairly easy to get this done. Another one. Plants. Animal. There are no animals that will attack you here. You're in safe condition. If you want to get some pyrite, you can. It's up to you. I found I didn't need it. Um, if you have hazardous flora on the planet, you can scan them too. You do a quick scan and look for sodium and oxygen and scan them if you wish. We got a plant coming up right here. There it is. I'll scan you. And you can kill them and get your count going. Just a thought. You see there is a beacon over here that we landed at. It's probably looking at the other planet now that I think about it. Oh, another plant. We'll go ahead and get you. Excellent. You see we've got another building right over there. That's good to know. We'll probably run to that one too at some point. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I need the steps, so I'm going to get as many steps in as I can. Is that another plant that we haven't scanned? Nope, already got that one. How about you? Nope, didn't get you yet. Let's get you. All right. Hey, we got all 21. Look at that. I guess we did pretty good there. I didn't have any idea that we had that many plants already. So we don't have to scan for plants anymore. We're done. Yay! So we can pull our ship in, or you can go with the point that there is another building right there, and we can make our way there. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to get more steps in that way. All right, and the temperature isn't terrible here. It isn't terribly cold, so your temperature is dropping slowly. But we got a firestorm coming in, so we'll think about it. Just get this. This is another ancient ruin, and you don't have to use one of your um, surge batteries for it. So I'm going to head over to the building over here. I think we're in pretty good shape, and we'll call on the ship if we get into trouble. But the temperature should start rising, so we're going to be in good shape for a short time, and then we're going to be overheating. So, yay. See? I wonder how hot it gets. guess we're going to find out. I don't think I've been here in a storm. Yep, now we're overheating. Wow, wow, went from 70 below. Wow, look how hot it's getting. Good gravy, 212. I just, I feel like I'm boiling. Aha, we're going to scan another plant. Oh, I don't need to scan plants. Stop it. And it's dropping pretty quick. Ah, boy, what to talk about a temperature jump of 200 and what? 90 degrees, 80 to 82 degrees? Good grief. Feels like Kentucky. Anyway, it's not important. Hey, did I scan you? I scanned you. Alright, here's the building. We're going to call in our ship, and we're going to put it right there. And as I land over, I walk over here, I'm going to get my survey point. So that's two of them I got from this planet. There are others that we might be able to get, but there's really no reason to do so. I'm going to do a quick scan that way. We're going to head back to the portal here at some point. If there's another building over here, we'll land there. Ah, uh, nothing there. Okay, so let's just head over to the portal. We'll get them later. It's not a problem. Alright, there's our portal. Went for it landing right next to it. And... a boom. Or caves. You gotta get those hazardous, hazardous plants. You know where to go. Looks like somebody built themselves a structure here. It's not interfering with anything, so... Not a problem. So there's your mind orc. You're going to spend it here. It won't be in your inventory anymore. Zzzt. The arc rests in a small notch in the portal's smooth stone interface. A perfect mesh of two radically different technologies. I've come this far. It is only one more step. One small step. The portal calls to me. Activate it. You can go through that if you wish. <laughs> so we're going to step through. And it's going to take us to space and then do a completely different planet or, or solar system so we're on our way now the system we're landing at is going to be kind of nasty it's got uh, animals that will attack you so yeah so you're floating in space you don't have to worry about health you're going to be fine don't go into any of your menus it will just delay your being here so let's go ahead and do a quick
There we go. Where'd he go? There he is. We're going to do a quick screenshot of this, and you're going to be looking at this going, what in the world is going on here? And that is because you looked at my thumbnail and said, hey, that looks familiar. I got a screenshot of it. Okay. So here we go. We just got to wait the usual 30 seconds for it to, as you can hear it, do its crescendo. And it'll be bumping me to my new planet. So we need animals, not plants, except we need one plant. We need heptaloid wheat. Well, guess what? We're going to a planet that the heptaloid wheat is really close by. It'll drop you in usually one of two different places. And depending upon which place you are at, is depending upon where the heptaloid wheat is. But the heptaloid wheat is within easy scanner range. Even if you have base scanner, you can find this easily. So let's do it. We are at an hour and a half, so maybe this will go a little longer because I keep explaining things. Somebody built a structure, you jerk. Anyway, while you're here, scan around and look for plants. There's a ship that way. There should be a plant. There's jade peas. Fungal, fungal, is that it? Sweet root. Fungal. It's going to call me out to be a liar. Ooh, scan the animals. Scan the animal. These guys will probably attack me soon, so i got to be careful. The heptaloid wheat is not very far. If you want to get rid of the animals, you can... These guys tick me off, so I don't mind taking them out. There we go. Just want to get rid of them so they're not really messing with me. Toxic protection is dropping. So the heptaloid weed is either over here. I'm going to check out the sweet root because I think it's up there. So I'm going to take a look real quick. And I think the sweet root is getting in the way. Have your battery handy for something like this? No, it's not. That's not it. Fungal cluster down there. Ooh, animals. I got time. There we go. We'll grab those guys. Uh, let's see. Fungal cluster. Jade peas. We'll head in that direction. Did the storm clear up? No? Okay. We'll go ahead and use a battery. We don't really need a whole ton of them, but I'm going to go ahead and get down here real quick. And keep looking because our heptaloid wheat should be nearby. Let me just check out the jade peas because I seem to recall that sometimes these plants mask each other. No, just the jade peas themselves. That's all it looks like. Life support. Let's go ahead and charge it up. I'm going to use one of those. Why not? All right, let's keep heading over. If worse comes to worse, we'll find it elsewhere. I usually find it on this planet. I'm very surprised that it's not here. Oh, looks like the storm cleared up. So things ought to be settling down just a little bit. Pulpy roots. Like I said, it's normally really, really close. Have I already scanned him? Yes, I have. Sorry, buddy. You're in my way. Okay, scan those. We already did that. There we go. We'll scan him. More animals we scan, the better. And we'll keep our eyes open for more. Oh, it might be on that hill. Yeah, you know what? I think it is over there. And guess what? That just popped up. Let's head over that way. I think that's what it is. It put me in a different spot than I'm used to. Uh, I think I could turn off my headlamp. What do you think? Jade peas. Let's check up there. Because I really think it's right there. Let's come back up here. Nope. Looks like it's the same thing. I'll grab you. Because you're here. More jade peas down there.
And this comes in handy for me because when I do my speed run, I'll need to know where this stuff is. Let's head over there to the JPs and see if that's another spot for them. Okay, got them. Looks like just more Jade Peas. Nothing special. Really thought we had some Heptaloid Wheat right here. Already got you, right, buddy? Yeah, we did. I'll check it out. Whee! Jade Peas. And a ship. Okay. Head towards the ship. Maybe it's somewhere close by the ship. And if it isn't there, like I said, we'll get it later on at another planet. But I really thought it would be here. Ah, okay. I know why. We approached from a different direction. Okay. That's fine. I want to check out the pulpy roots over there real quick, so stick with me. Can't see them from here. Heptaloid wheat. There it is. So it's beyond the ship. And that's fine. I'll go ahead and grab it. I'll check the pulpy roots too while we're over here just to see what it's got. Yeah, it's just the pulpy roots by themselves. Alright. Let's grab the heptaloid wheat and then we'll get out of here. So we usually, when I usually appear on this planet, I usually appear on this side. That's stuck. Heptaloid wheat gotten. Alright, we're done with that. Back to the ship. And it may take you a little extra time to get it done. You know, an extra minute or so. I'm going to use my jetpack here and there to get this taken care of. We've walked for quite a ways. So that's nice. It gets the steps in that we don't have to get later. Keeping in mind that you're getting steps in and you need to get it. And later on, if you, if you do it later on, you're just going to be walking around in circles for a while. So you might as well do it while you're actually achieving... One of your milestones. Now you go quite a long ways on that one charge. So that's pretty good. Alright. So we're back to the ship. You can get stuff here if you wish. I am not going to. And as we get in the ship. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look around. Because we're going to land at two more places. Good thing we got that extra fuel, didn't we? Okay. Stand to the right. Look for the ravine. Right there. And go across to the other side. And there's a building right there you can land at. I don't know if it has a landing pad. I don't remember. Yep, it does. Land on the landing pad. This will give you your next survey point. A little shaky. Again, we're not going to do the eggs yet. We'll get them at the first rendezvous. So there's another one done. Take off. Scan. Nothing there. I think it was over this way. One more scan. Or was it over here? I think it's over here, actually. The other side of the... Ravine. There's one. That's not the one I was looking for, but that'll work. We just need a second one, so wherever they might pop up, you go ahead and grab it. As long as it's not a beacon. This one is not, so you're in good shape. Just land, get your second survey point, and get out of here. Get stuff if you wish. All right, moving on. Off we go. All righty then. Let me just do something real quick. There. All right. So we're on our way. So what do we have left to do? One is nearly complete. We just have to land at Rendezvous 1, so that's our next goal, is to go to Rendezvous 1. We've completed three rewards here, but we need this one. This one is the Specialized Warp Blueprint, so we're going to get that now that we've completed the Anomaly. We get five Storm Crystals as well. So if we go in our inventory, go here and build your Emerald Drive, because you have the Cadmium for it. And you have the Wiring Looms as well. There we go. A little extra chromatic metal and sodium to go with it. All right, and what else do we need to do? We need a warp cell. We've got plenty of warp juice left, but I'm going to go ahead and create one, two warp cells because we have not only these, but we have the storm crystals as well. So I'm going to put in the other inventory. All right, good. How are we doing life support-wise? We're doing good. 
starship. Got plenty of stuff going on. Let's get out of this little neck of the woods. So we're going to head back. Now you notice it put us on a completely different system. And our rendezvous is nowhere in sight. But fortunately we can go 500 light years. So let's go as far as we can go. 571. We'll take it. And just head straight towards it. And on we go. Little tidbit, some of the ships when you're in hyperspace, if you hit the left or right button, in this case on WASD, A or D, you can do a little flip in, in hyperspace if you wish. I might show you that later. Okay, we're not doing anything here. Go straight back into hyperspace and jump one more final time to Rendezvous 1. There we go. Now, what are we going to do here, Paul? Well, we're going to do more than just Rendezvous 1. We're going to do a few things on Rendezvous 1. We're going to scan for more animals, of course. That's number one. We need two more survey points. And then we're going to go ahead and get Rendezvous 1. Rendezvous 1 is one of the places. Plus, we're going to get the eggs while we're at Rendezvous 1. Um, now, before we even get to Rendezvous 1, you see this wonderful Hymo planet in front of us? Yeah, they got ancient bones here. This is a fantastic planet to go to to do so. So head straight to the planet. Don't deviate when you come out of hyperspace. Go as straight down as you can on the same angle. I don't know why I did that. Don't worry about it. And if you look closely, you should see a building that has a landing pad. I think it's right there. There it is. Just to the right. Land there. If you need some supplies, you can run inside. It is like a minor settlement type thing. It just looks different. But it does have a terminal in there, and you can get some minor amounts of supplies. Now, what we're going to do here, this cold planet we're on never has storms. Ever. The temperature's at negative 61. That is literally like three degrees away from being perfect. Uh, otherwise, the, the temperature bar will drop very, very slowly. Do your eggs here. Get it taken care of. So, I'm going to do mining beam. And how's our life support? Looks good. We need how many eggs? Let's check real quick. Check, check, check. Five. So we need 11 more eggs. Okay. And this is a really big facility. It's got a lot of eggs. So good luck. If you didn't get any before, you'll get them here. Yeah, they all pop out of the ground right in the same spot. It's annoying. It's crap. That's two. All right. Let's go to the other side here and get all these. So three. One dropped below. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, ow, nine, Is that eight, nine, I don't know, ten, I guess, eleven, is that it? Nope, it was ten, so this is eleven. Done. And you're finished. If you want to wait them out, head up to the top. So one of the other things we can do while we're here... Let's go in here. One of your rewards for stealing these is you get a nutrient processor. So go ahead and select it. Remember the metal plate you made? You got to make a hermetic seal too. So make one more hermetic seal, please. And then drop down a nutrient processor. You've just gotten your heptaloid wheat. So make some bread. BCM. We call it poop bread, but it is what it is. Okay, because you get yeast from it. Get your heptaloid wheat. You just need to make one of these. There it is. Get some flour, drop it back in, and drop your yeast back in. Get over there. And you got dough. And you don't have to stay in here, nor do you have to collect the bread. As soon as you hit begin, jump out. And you get your achievement. See? Done. All right. So we got that milestone done. So we got two more milestones completed. Uh, let's see. Okay, those are all done. Life reimagined. We got that. You can get that stuff if you want. The healthy wheat block is actually pretty good. And if you need more scanning upgrades, you can get them here. Um, nothing there. And there you There's your bread. And you get fish biscuits out of it. That's also food that'll help your, you know, stuff. Plus, I'm checking here. I need eight more creatures. I'm going to get four later on very easily. Okay? So you really only need four more creatures to discover. And we're going to get all four of them here. Now, the swarm is gone. You see all the purple things are gone. If you look in this general direction, you've got ancient bones. And that's our next thing that we're going to get. But before we do that, let's go ahead and get our survey point. 
And we're going to walk it the whole way. Let's see where how many steps we're at, too. That's on phase two. 7,000 already. Okay, great. We're going to hit 8,000 easy while we're here. Excellent, excellent. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this series. I'm sorry, it, it's mostly in the... Uh, this, by the way, is one of the plants that are here and the only plant. And if you need more carbon, take the plant out. Watch. 266 just from that one plant. Sometimes they'll give up with a free three or 400. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the series so far. And I really appreciate you guys watching this. I know this is a long episode, but I hope you've been enjoying it. Um, we've got a long way to go on this. It does seem like we have a lot to get done. But we have three more ancient sites, which we're going to do here. We've got a few more survey points, which we're going to get some of them here. I'm going to get at least three or two more, at least while I'm here. And then we're going to head out and or four more. We'll see. And then we're going to head out and uh, get rendezvous one. There's really nothing more to do here. As far as all the time crunchers, the, the, the steps are the biggest time hog out of all of these. Um, Especially if you were going to find the submerged freighter, the usual method. I told you I was going to scan these animals. I forgot. One. Let me get him two. I need two more at least. Oh, we got birds. Let's get one. One. Okay, good. So that's three all total. We need one more animal. Uh, there's one right down there. Excellent. So that's four, right? Oh, we got a fifth one right there. That's great. Got it. Five. I injured myself a little bit. Where's my bones? There they are. Excellent. So we got five animals instead of four. So we only need three more. And we have two sets of robotic animals we need to find. Uh, while we're here... You'll notice we have 894 nanites. We're getting nanites as we go along, but if you want to get some extra nanites, drop your larval cores in, and you're going to get 500 nanite clusters out of it. We're at 1,300. And 1,350. Okay, great. So we only... Yeah, 1,400 we've got already. I'm going to get rid of the mordite and the keptaloid wheat we don't need anymore, or the feline liver. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of that's fine. Whatever. All right, good. Let's move on. Excellent. So we're doing really, really, really good. That's excellent. Obviously, like I said, not a speed run. This is not a speed run. It is just a run that is done efficiently and quickly, but not very, very fast. And anybody can do it this fast if they wish. So, all right, let's get our terrain manipulator out. This natural burial site will have four bones in it. There they are. Gather them up. Now, while you're getting the bones, uh, those guys get pissed off sometimes when you drop them down. Just be careful. While you're gathering them, go in this direction and land your ship facing you and facing the pit. Okay? And then grab your bones. There we go. Got four. We need eight total. Okay? And if you go in here, you're going to see I didn't really get anything special. I got these bones. I'm just going to get rid of them. I don't need them. I'm not taking them with me. Okay, and what you want to do is when you take off, head towards the right a little bit. Where that big hill is, go this way. If you scan, you're going to find that there is a building just to the right here. So go ahead and head towards it. There's one in the distance, but there's one right here as well. That should have a landing pad. For some reason, it didn't show up, but I'm going to land facing sort of in that direction to the right. So I know where it is, so I get a third survey point. All right, so there's your second survey point. Let's grab it. We've already recovered. Now, if we take a look around, we should see more bones. Uh, right there. There's two sites. There's one to the right that is a little bit, I think, closer. And it's the one to the right that you want. The one to the left doesn't have as many. I think it's got two or three bones there. And you'd have to go to the one on the right anyway. The one on the right has up upwards of five or six. So, and there's a whippersnapper down there down here and break my ankle while I land and just keep walking I don't think anything got damaged so you should be all right all right and 
It looks like we're taking forever to get Rendezvous 1, right? But here's the thing. We've finished so many milestones that everything else should be rather quick. Okay? So we're really getting a lot done here. We don't really need to worry about that. So this one's in a ravine. you got one that drops way down there. If you want to grab it, it's up to you. And then there's a few more over here. There's two there, but another one's going to show up in a moment. So, see? All three. And there's your fourth one. So grab that one. Go over here. Two. Three. There you go. Eight fossils collected. Now, I don't think you can see the building from here, so you are going to have to call in your ship. So, call in the ship one more time. And obviously, the building should be in that direction, so we're going to have to turn around. That's no big deal. I'm going to do scan in this direction, too. There is a building all the way over there, but there should be one, like I said, right behind me. There it is, all the way up there. I'll grab it. Okay, so this one, we're going to go a little bit further. You can get the extra spot in your exosuit if you wish. It's up to you. I don't. Okay, got that one. And I do want to get one more. I'll do a quick scan. There's the last building. Hopefully not a beacon. hate those beacons. They come in handy when you're doing other things, but if it's just a beacon for something like this, we don't need it. Yep, perfect. That'll work. It's got a trade ball there, too, so if you want some stuff you want to get rid of. Like, I got those cheap little bones in here, and I'm going to go ahead and just delete them. I don't need them. Okay. We're out. And yes, I could save them and, and, and get all the money from it and carry it over into my save. I'm not as worried about that. You guys can do that if you wish. All right. We're done. So that should give us how many survey points? Let's check phase four. We're up to ten. We need two more. I think... I think I want to grab... Do I need anything from this? No, I don't need anything from it. So I'm not going to worry about getting the last one. All right, so how many do we have done? We have one more to do here, Rendezvous 1. We're going to get that. We haven't done our ancient relics. Where are they? Phase 2, is that? Nope, 3. Look at all those steps we got. Isn't that great? 4. We'll get there. A ancient ruins. Okay, we got 2, right? Yes. So we're going to use 3... Surge batteries here. So let's check our starship. How many we got left? We have four. Good. Because we only need one more after this. So scan for ruins. Now you can scan for two different types. You're going to get either the plaque or a historical ruin. There's a historical ruin. An alien artifact. And you can only get one of each. So if you do this a second time to save yourself a little bit of time, you should get a plaque. It'll probably be in the opposite direction. There we go. There's a plaque. And it's that way. I think that one's really close, if I remember correctly. It says one hour. That one says... Where'd it go? It says how many? 17 hours. Yeah, so it's on the other side of the planet. Let's go to this one. There we go. How far away by ship? Two minutes. We don't want to take that long. So we're going to increase our speed to our engines, pop up, and hit it. And we'll come in a little bit high, and then drop in quicker. There we go. Now, sometimes you can find another plaque. So if you want to try one more surge battery, you can. It's not going to hurt you. If you can't find anything, it won't use it. So we're going to do the same thing here and just get the words and call it a day. Let's go ahead and drop a signal booster down real quick. Ah, it found another one. So we are now done scanning. You don't need to scan for anything else. Excellent. So we'll get this plaque and then the ruin and then we're done. How far away? Looks like it's right there. I don't know how far. Eight hours. Nope, it's a lot further. Okay. Up we go. Turn around. And this one is two days away. And this one is two hours. So I guess we'll go to this one. 
And you know what the funny part is, is that's real time. If we were just to go at that speed at it, it would literally take two complete days for us. 48 hours to get to that spot. Unbelievable. Okay, and down to the black. So we're coming up on the two-hour mark of this episode. I know this is a long episode. I'm very sorry. But we'll get this done. And the rest of this will go a lot quicker. We have another half hour to go of the whole episode, probably. Okay. We just got one more spot to stop at. And this, again, is the other mem uh, memory. The other time waster is getting all this. Launch, launch thruster at 4%, so we're going to have to charge it here in just a moment. Okay, I just want to get lined up. There we go, and on our way. Recharge while we're waiting. And we're coming in. Drop it down. There we go. Very nice, very nice. And if you can do it right, sometimes this works. Trying to land right on the facility. It worked. <laughs> and it drops you right next to it. Excellent. Got a little uh, messy there. Sorry about that. There we go. Mileage increases and... Tell me. There we go. Nameless history is complete. We are now done with all the time sinks on this. So let's take another quick look. We gotta get our waypoints. We're gonna get them real quick. That shouldn't be a problem. So if you look, landing there, rendezvous one. This one's nearly done. We just got some steps and we gotta summon a mountain. We're gonna grab that next. Three, nearly done. Drifting, finding two more planets. Real quick, I can do that. And third rendezvous, two more waypoints. We're gonna get them real quick. The nanites, we'll get that real quick. This is all fast right here. And five, we got three more creatures. We're going to get them when we find the robotic animals. And then we just have to drift a little bit and find a uh, buried traveler. That's it. That's it. We're done with all of these milestones. It's incredible. All right. So let's head off the planet. And we're going to head towards the spot it's pointing us at over here. And yes, before we hit rendezvous one, we have one more milestone to get. And that is going to 1,600 units above sea level. We have to get to a high point on the planet. There is a point very close by Rendezvous 1 that you can go to that is not made by a player. You want to use a player-made one, that's completely up to you. Honestly, I did that one time and I think it took me longer. It's a long ways away to get to these planets. They, they, All the Rendezvous and the systems that you go to, nearly every single Rendezvous is forever away from the entry point into the system. I have no idea why. I think they do that purposely just to tick us off. <laughs> I love it. So we are almost done here. Like I said, even though we're only just coming up on Rendezvous 1, we'll easily complete everything else within the next 30 minutes. And anybody can complete the whole thing in this amount of time. If you just take your time and do it, it you can have the whole thing done in two and a half hours. To get your rewards, you especially want to get the, uh, the Iron Vulture, man. Uh, where am I going? I hate when it does that. It was locked in on who knows what. There we go. Okay, so there's your rendezvous. If you look closely, you're on a plateau, a very tall plateau. Look for the highest point. I'm going to drop in a little bit low here. There's a monument right there, a monolith. That spot over there looks pretty high, but this looks even higher over here. So I'm going to land up here. And if we go in here real quick... 1,600 units, right? All got your chevet. We're going to get out. And check. We got it. There you go. All done. That's all you need to do. Jump back in. I'm not going to bother checking for animals. We'll get animals later. Okay, go back to the point over here. If you head straight towards it and go a little bit to the right, like right here, and then go down the slope, you're going to find your rendezvous. Right there. There's a landing pad. Now it turns yellow. Go ahead and land at it. Now, if you didn't get all of your uh, whispering eggs, you can get them here. It is right there. We are at rendezvous one. There's nothing more to do here. You can get some heptaloid weed if you want. You can cook some food. I'm going to get the survey point because this will be survey point number 11. And then we're going to leave. We're done. Nothing more to do. Head out. Complete.
If you want to hit one more survey point before you leave, which I'm going to do real quick, this run right up here on the hill. Just land there. I'm going to go ahead and do it. What is it doing? I don't know what it did there. Landing sequence unavailable. And you can not land there because it will not let you because it does not like you. Let's try that again. Here we go. Hey, look. Now it likes us. There's animals here you can scan very easily. Feel free to do so. Usually you get about three or four animals here. All 12 waypoints are done. We're done with that. So we might as well just complete that and get done with it, right? So here we are. Rendezvous 1. We're heading back into space. We're going to head out of here now, right? There we go. We're in space now. Okay. Rendezvous 1 is complete. You can get this if you wish. I'm going to get this one because it gives me some inventory slots. So we're going to put uh, all three here. One, two, three. Okay, great. And you can get this if you want. Here's the thing you want. The stealth paint poster set. Get the stealth paint. Very, very nice. See, there you go. Phase one is complete. I tell you what, while we're here, so we don't have to listen to it, we'll get this too. Seeds in the building. Base computer. computer. Okay, we got that. So phase one is complete, complete. Phase two. We just got to run 500 more steps and reach rendezvous two, right? So let's head to rendezvous two. Let's get that done. Uh, how are we doing otherwise? Let me check here. Our drive is looking good. Let's go ahead and head out. We can get one more, one or two more jumps out of it. So we should be able to go straight to two. Uh, where is it here? Uh, all the way over here. I think we can go a little bit. Can we go all the way there? Add a jump range. How much? 725. Oh, yeah, that's way far away. 602. Yep, we can go there. You could follow the path if you wish. I'm not going to. And yeah, like I said, I'm keeping the volume low on the game too because any of the worms on those planets, they just trumpet make really, really loud noises. It's pain in the neck. Pain in the neck. So rendezvous two. After rendezvous two, before we get to three, we're going to take a detour. Okay. Uh, one more jump. So this will get us. This will be our final jump. We'll have to charge our warp drive, I think, after this. Yep, we're good. There's our jump. Warazu. Warazu? Warazu? I don't know. We only guess at what these things are. Look. There we go. See? You can do flips in space. Isn't that great? In hyperspace. Yay! We're just over two hours. We're coming up on rendezvous two. Now, in the past, I used to have to land at that planet on the right, but I'm not going to. Don't need to anymore. So let's head straight to Rendezvous 2 on our way. Now, if you need to get all the rest of your steps in, this is a great place to do it because the Rendezvous is a landing platform. If you land on the bigger platform, you can just use it as a track, like in a, in a, in a uh, fitness center or something like that, an indoor track. Except it's outdoors, but anyway. If you also need heptaloid wheat, you can get it on this planet. I know where to find it. Um, near the landing platform. So you can just jump off the landing platform, run to the heptaloid wheat, pick it up, come back. You get your steps in at the same time, and as soon as you get back to the platform, you can make your uh, bread. And then run around for a little bit. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to run around here. I'm going to get my last 500 steps in real quick. Just to get it out of the way. I think we're lined up. If we're not, we're really, really close. We're not close at all. You suck. Okay, let's head this way. We're going to get our boosters going. And the rendezvous is on the other side of the mountain from it, in this big plateau down below in the valley. It's not a plateau. In the valley. And it should be right dead ahead. Right right about over there. There it is. Right over there. There you go. Ta-da. There's also a survey point. You can get one to the left. There we go. Just wanted to wait for it to pop in. Now, the, that upgrade I got for my exosuit, for my jetpack, for sprint, very handy here. So we're at rendezvous two. Congratulations. There's a few animals here you can you can check out as well. So I'm going to go over here and select that and start running. And in a moment, it should show up at the bottom right. Do, do, do. See, there's some animals in the distance. That's really good. There you go. See, 500. Excellent. You can go about, I want to say it's 250 steps, so we'll probably have to go around twice. 
Not a bad charge. Charge actually is charging quicker than I expected. Yeah, and the temperature's not terrible enough that it you won't you won't overheat. You won't have to use a battery here. You'll be fine. Okay. Coming up on 750. There it is. This is boring. You can also go in those caves on the right up there. Up up top over there where I'm pointing. And these. And you can get some more hazardous plants. The heptaloid wheat is in that direction. If you see that pulpy root, it's right next to it. You can get some heptaloid wheat there. So, and I'll remember that too because I keep forgetting. Okay. So it looks like we're just about there. we only got about 100 steps to go. 75... 50... 25... 10 to go... And... Done. And I almost got in my ship. <laughs> so... Let's check. That means... Phase 2 is completed. So, let's go ahead and get this. We're gonna go ahead and collect the things real quick. There we go. Uh, time on our feet. Scatter blaster stuff. We can get that too if you want it. Uh, all that you survey. We're going to get Rendezvous 2, which gives us inventory slots. There we go. So now we need them. And then finally, Phase 2 reward. The wreckage base parts. So we're going to get those. Excellent. Let's get back in here real fast here. Um, we're going on to three. We have to drift through time and space, but we're not going to do that yet. I'm going to do this, but I'm not going to select it because it will send me to a system or a planet that I don't want to go to. We're going to go to Rendezvous 3, so let's go ahead and head out. And we're going to go to a planet of my... Uh, pardon me, a system of my choosing. Hyperspace, please. Okay. So, it's pointing us in this direction, and that's where our rendezvous is. You can see it in the distance. If you follow the line up here, okay, and that, is my hyperdrive charged? Yes, it is. Uh, and you follow it up here, you're looking for a red system right about there. There it is. Besuch Rawave. So, go up the path. As you go into the second one, look to the right. You got one big one here, and then another just smaller one right there. Besuch Rawave. 472 light years from your start point. As you exit the system, the planet you're looking for is literally right behind you. Turn to the right just a little bit, about, uh, I don't know, 70 degrees, and you should see the planet we're looking for. Not that one, not the little guy on the right. Turn behind you and go to this one. Land anywhere that you see land. That's water, and that's land I'm heading straight towards. Just go straight at it. It doesn't make a difference where you go. A little boost to the engines there. Land on a nice flat spot that you can see a lot of the surroundings, and you're looking for robot animals. There we go. This looks pretty good. I usually just get out, hit the tab button, float to the top of my ship, and look around. And just wait for red dots to, to appear. Not that. You can get some more plants here if you want. There's one. And... We need one more. There's the other. Nope, he's the same one. Oh, that's it. There's the other. Excellent. So we got two. Now, you remember those nanites you didn't get yet? If you get this, you get 500 nanites. That's why you only need 600 nanites to begin with, because you get 500 to finding these two, and if you find the other two on the other planet, you get another 500. It's 1,000 nanites. And guess what? 1,600 nanites. That milestone's complete. Let's go to the other planet. How many animals do we need? How many we left? Stage 5. We got one more to go. So we just need to find one on the next planet. Let's go back to Rendezvous 3. And we are actually going to go to Rendezvous 3 this time. Okay. Um, how's the hyperdrive look? Oop, yep, needs charging. There we go. Glad I checked. On we go. So we are actually, again, heading straight for Rendezvous 3. So this is a great diversion because it's well within range of where we are. So we had to, we would have had to do two jumps anyway. Efficiency, my friend. Efficiency. So 
Two hours and ten minutes, we're coming up on Rendezvous 3. Remember, we just got done with Rendezvous 1. Ten minutes later, we're already on to Rendezvous 3. We're almost finished. Almost finished. Here we go. Okay. So it's it's plugged in on Rendezvous 3. We just gotta wait for the, uh, for the symbol to show up. It's over this way. There it is. Okay. Line up. Get going. You'll notice it's gonna be really far away. Right? A minute and 20 seconds, jerks. While you're doing that, though, go to Dream of the Stars and select it. And at the bottom right, you should see it turning purple. Let your mind drift to the stars as you slip through space-time. And just wait for it to tell you to stop. It'll tell you to hit the S button or just, you know, undo your pulse drive. One or the other. There it is. Cloud appears. You're in your cockpit. I bring my ship to a halt. Notice the screen says Delta Wave Spike detected. I bring my ship to a halt, countless miles out into the void of space. The stars fill my vision, and I try to remember, how long has it been now since I woke? Feels like years, but it has only been days. Oh, pardon me, it has been only days. Weeks? Perhaps it really has been years. I can no longer tell. I've seen so few signs of the living. My exosuit speaks to me. My starship suggests a course. I see glimpses of my, myself, reflections of some other reality dutifully fulfilling all the tasks of survival that their blue equipment suggests. For a moment, I shut it all out. I let myself pause and dream. And that's it. Then go back into your menu, choose Rendezvous 3, line yourself back up, and go. And there's your achievement. Wow, still incomplete. So now you know, and we're about a minute, another minute out. So you'll notice that in phase three, we got one done, two done, three done. Phase three is nearly complete. We have three more robot. We have one more robotic life form to get. We're going to get that as we leave rendezvous three to go to rendezvous four. So what do we get here? Let's go ahead and grab it. By the way, I'm going to go into my inventory real quick. So we're gathering all kinds of garbage like this. We don't need. We really don't need that either. You really don't need a planetary chart either if you don't want it. It's up to you. But I'm going to keep some stuff. Is that a surge battery? Yes, it is. And those are our advanced ion batteries. So we got a little bit of room. All right. Back in. Let's get our Supreme Scanning upgrade and our wheat blocks. Healthy wheat block. On aisle 14 of your local grocery store. Bones to dust. Let's grab that. Get an optical drill unit. We've got a Supreme Mining Beam upgrade. And finally, and you can do all this while you're here. See? You're getting them all done. Might as well get all the rest of these, right? No, I don't really want to do that yet. Let's go in here. Look at all the stuff we don't need. Healthy wheat block. Love it. I love it. Let's go ahead and recharge our pulse drive. We're in good shape. How's our exosuit doing? No, not bad. Let's eat a thing there. Got some... As their protection from the wheat blocks. Okay. This third one is on a mountainside. But if you just head straight in the direction it's it's showing you. And look at this mountain right there. Right in front of you. Just head straight towards it. That's going to flatten out into a plateau. And then there's going to be a building appearing. See? See? And there's your landing spot. Just land there. And boom. Head towards the building a little bit so you can register that you've been to Rendezvous 3. You can also get some more eggs here if you wish. If you're hungry. More animals will appear. So Rendezvous 3 is now complete. Let's go ahead and select it. Multi-tool inventory slots. Go ahead and grab those. Done. Okay. It's telling us to grab synthetic creatures, but do not let it direct you at all. So we're going to take off from here, head up. Whoa, up, not over. Okay, we're out in space. And rather than do that, we're going to select four. Now, before we go to four, we're going to get our last robotic animal, but I'm going to show you where to go. So, again, follow the line. Got the green line heading that way, correct? About halfway between the first point it's directing you to and the second, look to the right and a little bit below, and you should see this planet right here. This system, I should say. Ib Ibarabic, yeah, you don't worry about that one. It's Jurani Yuant. 350 light years from your position. Go there. Now, 
If you forgot the first system that we want to, then go here if you want all of your robotic animals. There are two planets in this entire system. They both have two robot animals on them. So this system here, this planet right in front of you, and then there's another planet, uh, where are you here? Hold on. Right down there. That planet there, Hyper Hyperborean, also has them. So it is about 911,000 uh, units away, kilometers, something like that. So if you want to do that, that's up to you. I decided to go to two different systems because this, both these systems have a uh, planet right at as you exit that you can go straight to. Great for speed runs. Okay, land here. And I do the same thing, hit my tab button to get rid of the screen, go to the top of the ship and just hang out here. There's one already appearing, right there. If you need your nanites, get the second one. The second one appears pretty quickly as well. There he is right over there. I'm going to go ahead and... And you get plenty of plants here, by the way. I don't think I can get them. Oh, I got them. Good. And there's your second one. And your achievement. 32 species. And as you can see, as I get in my ship, we've got phase three completed. All done. You get your Minotaur and your multi-school tool class upgrade. So you can build that. Multi-tool class is now a class A. So if you want to take a look at that, there you are. So I put two supercharged slots there still, and I got one over here. I don't see any other supercharged slots yet. So I have to get to S class in order to get that. All right, on our way. Out we go. So phase three complete. Let's get the rewards from it. We got so much crap in our inventory. We really, really need to, like, alleviate some of it. Uh, can we put some over here? I'm going to get rid of the runaway mold. We don't really need it. Let's put some over here. Let's get that moving along. That way I can make some room. All right. Let's go into Starship here. And I'm going to keep these because I can use them in my... If I can bring them back with me, that would be fantastic. Plenty of slots available over there. All right, good. That leaves us plenty of room. Let's go ahead and... Okay, phase three is complete. Four is next. We're going to go to rendezvous four. We still have to drift towards infinity. Wait until you get to rendezvous four, normally. But there's a little guest that likes to appear. So please go ahead and select, in, in this one, the Dream of Freedom. Go ahead and go into Pulse Drive. It's going to act like it's doing it, and it's going to tell you to exit almost immediately. It's not telling us because it has other rewards to give us. There it goes. See, it says you're seen, but this is what happens. You get this little visitor here, the ghost ship. Ghost freighter. Frigate, pardon me. It was not always pss, this way. Pss. We were pss, many. We were one. We will begin again. Pss, ping the communicator. Pss, and that's it. And then if you wait a few seconds, he's gone. Now you can go to rendezvous four. And we're done with our robots, so we're done, right? So rendezvous, here we go. And you should have plenty of juice to get there. On our way. Excellent, right? And it's we're two hours and 18 minutes into the video. We will finish this in the next less than 10 minutes. Rendezvous 4 is an important world. Should be straight ahead, I believe. We do have to select it in our menu, or else it's not going to show us where it's located. There we go. Do the same thing here. Go ahead and select it, get locked in, start heading that way, dream of freedom, and jump back out. Wait for it to tell you to exit. If it keeps coming up with a reward on the screen that you haven't claimed, it can sometimes take a little bit. Getting real close. There we go. And one more time. Delta wave spike detected. I ease the ship out of pulse flight and gently take my hands from the controls. The ship drifts slowly, uncommanded. There's no danger here. There's no anything here. The beauty that surrounds me is endless, infinite, breathtaking. And it is so, so far away. I cannot allow myself to really see it, to let my mind look directly at its terrifying entirety. It is far too big, and I am far too small. But there's nothing else in the universe. I must face it. I let my mind relax and try to find my place among the stars. Dream. And that's it. You just dream and then do the same thing you did before. Select rendezvous four. Lock in on it. 
and go. And there's your milestone complete. Rendezvous, uh, and I should say phase four is nearly complete. This is the last stage of the phase. It doesn't look like we're locked in on it. We're probably going to go beyond it, so let me show you. All right. Rendezvous four is easy to find. Head straight towards it. It's going to reappear at the top of the plateau of that little of that mountain there. Head to the bottom right or straight down, and depending upon which angle you come to, and look for a crashed freighter. If you don't see one appear, just keep circling around. And land on the landing spot. Lots of comballs, you know you're in the right place. <laughs> Alright, as you exit. Tab, let's get rid of that. I'm going to open up and I'm going to grab my signal booster. Because you're already selected on Ghost in the Machine Locate a Reality Breach. This is what your last surge battery's for. And you're going to find a buried traveler. There we go. Boundary failure detected. This is the last time sap that you're going to get. The last place that if you haven't gotten all your steps in, this is the last place to get them. Because you don't want to do it at five. Go up high because you can get faster speed out of your ship this way. And head towards it uh, in the upper atmosphere. You'll get there a lot quicker. There you go. See? And then come in at a steeper angle right over this little emptiness there. You'll get a little bit of a boost from it. Someone did build a base up there, so try to ignore it if you can. And down here as well. They put a building. I don't know why. Okay. There you go. Psst. I see you. I see all the pssst. And he goes out. That's the creepiest thing I've ever seen. To see this forsaken flicker of an entity, to hear their voice, it startles me. By the time I understand what I am seeing, they too have been consumed by static. The only voice I have heard, and it is gone. If this is an illusion, a holographic echo in the noise? Pardon me, is this an illusion, a holographic echo in the noise? Or the fragment of some lost reality? Does not matter. They are static now, like everything else. Call out. This is alone. Wow. Creepy, right? Ghost in the machine is complete. Okay. We're done with four. Approach the void to begin your dream. Let it go ahead and do that while you're here. So go ahead and pulse drive. And you remember that ghost frig frigate that you mentioned that we met earlier? We're going to see him again. And there he is. Open up your communicator. Dis dissonant signal detected. One by one, tss, the boundaries weaken. Tss, the tss, crimson ebbs tss, begins to fade. Ping the communicator. Tss, and he's gone. Does the same thing again. So we're done with him. We won't be seeing him again. All right. So four, as you can see, is complete. Three is complete. I haven't gotten this yet. Let me go ahead and grab that. I get a companion egg. Yay. And three is done completely. Four, we're going to go ahead and do all this. Nautilin, we don't really need it. But I want to get all the rewards. There we go. Two. Okay. Exosuit modules. That's kind of handy. You can do that if you wish. Because you never know what you might get. Sometimes you'll get some good stuff. Shield strength in this case. It didn't really help me too, too much. Okay. Let's go back to... This, Nameless History. Get some upgrades. whoop dee, -dee. Going to keep getting them all. Lore of the Deep, Underwater Construction, Marine Shelter, whatever. Dream of the Deep, Hazard Protection, Airburst Engine. We're really filling up our inventory now, right? Rendezvous 4. We'll get three more slots. In our exosuit. Uh, I want to put them here. One, uh, two, and yeah, I'll put it up there. That's fine. Three. Okay, good. And then finally, phase four, ship of the damned frigate. We're going to get the frigate now. See? Add to fleet. Cool ship to have, man. S class, class, and it's pretty awesome looking. Okay, we're done with four completely. Let's move on to five, and guess what? Everything is nearly complete except for rendezvous five and the dream of sleep. Let's go. We are going to go to hyperspace first and go there. Why? It's a very long trip. That's why.
because as usual when we come out of hyperspace we'll be bazillions of units away from the actual rendezvous but let's go ahead and land there we're just about ready to wrap this sucker up and here we go there we go jet the engines go out come back on and we exit all right your world you're heading towards is all the way to the left past the space station right at that weird planet over there line up you see how far away it is let's go ahead and lock in on the dream of the sleep again watch the bottom right and exit pulse drive when it tells you to going through all the things that we got rewarded quicksilver credits it's great yeah, see, it disappeared because it has more rewards that we're supposed to get. So as we come a little closer, if it doesn't back out... Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do it now. Let's see what happens. There, we got it. Delta wave spike detected. There is a voice inside me that drives me ever onwards. My voice? My exosuit? Something else entirely? It is right, most of the time. But not always. Not now. I am the pilot. I decide. Now, I want to stop, to rest, to take it all in. To dream, to sleep, dream. And finally, pst. Yeah, you're not in control, pal. Rendezvous 5, here we come, and the end of our exp expedition. There we go. While we're coming in, I'm going to jump out. Not alone. Ghost in the Machine, Sorted Glitches, uh, Bread, and Dream of Sleep. Alright, we're done. We've got all the rewards except for the last two. Three? Rendezvous 5 is not too difficult to find. You'll see that this big mountain mass that's right here... Go all the way up here to this little notch in the hills at the very tallest peak and pass through them and cut to the left as you go through. Right now. And there, on that little shelf right there, is your fifth rendezvous. Which, by the way, has a crash ship if you didn't get one. As long as you're not in multiplayer, you should be able to get it. Now, there's, there are... Uh, very angry sentinels on this planet, so if you haven't gotten all your steps in, good luck. Because you're going to attract them and they're going to be pissed. All you need to do is exit your ship. Rendezvous 5 is complete. And for us, what we're going to do is jump in and out of the ship real quick. And we're going to go into our escape menu. That gives us a save point. We're going to take Rendezvous 5, which is going to give us Quicksilver. And Planetary Chart and Qualia, which we don't really need. And then finally, Titles... The decals and the uh, the adrift banner customization. Last but not least, go to your final phase here and you get your final reward, which is your Iron Vulture Starship and Iron Panels customization. There's your ship. Isn't that fantastic? I'm going to compare and I'm going to claim it. But what I'm going to also do is switch back real quick because... And you accept this and you're all done. And I'm going to switch back real quick to the other, not some of the freighter, pardon me. There we go. Select the other ship because it has all your stuff here. Because if you go into that ship, it's got everything in it. So that you can bring with you. Okay? So we got it all. There's our ship. We are done. We got our Iron Vulture. We're complete and finished the whole expedition. I want to thank you all for watching. As we exit this, we'll, sh we'll show you what happens here. Um, we're actually going to go out to the anomaly. Let's go up in here. I'm going to take my ship with me. You see it says return. Expedition complete. Return to the space anomaly to, re to view earned rewards and use the expedition terminus. Okay? So pull in the anomaly if you did it from your main save. And this is the one and only other time you'd normally go here. Otherwise, for the expedition, you wouldn't worry about this. And this is how we end it. Then you can bring all the stuff with you, including the Iron Vulture.
Okay, here we go. Sit on our way. To the terminal right there. And there we go. And end the expedition. This is how you end it. So basically, you have nothing here you worry about. So when you hit the end button, you accept what's going to happen. And it tells you all the details of how long it walked. And you get rewards based on it. Earnings and stuff like that. Nanites. See? You're also going to get your Quicksilver as well. And at just doing the expedition through your main save gives you lots and lots of bonus stuff. We got a fr frigate out of it. Freighter out of it. There's our Quicksilver. 1,500 Quicksilver is definitely worth it. Another 9,000 nanites definitely worth it. And there's all the other things. Phase 3 completion stuff. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Overall reward. Done. And 8 million credits. Let's finish it. And it kicks us out. And that's it. And we're going to have to reappear here in the anomaly back to the way we were. And that's how this works. Now feel free to do the expedition on your own in a new save, if you will, and it can turn into another save if you want it to. Regular save. But this is how the regular ones appear. And there we go. We're all set. And I'm back to my regular ship that I had. I had the Squiddy, but I, I pulled this one in, as you know. So we're all set. And we still have all of our old inventory in here. We didn't carry anything over, but we did get extra units. A lot more nanites out of it. My Quicksilver has gone up significantly. Very happy about this. Very, very happy. So I think we did really, really great, folks. And I want to thank you all for watching. And if you haven't already, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you like what you've been seeing. And we got some more episodes coming out next week. So, as always, take care, everybody. We'll see you next time. Take care.